Okay, okay, then. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Excellent. Hello, hello, and good evening. It is the 29th of March, 2023, and we are playing some PTCGO tonight. Uh, it's the final week of the service, so we're going to try and give this service a great big last hurrah over the course of the week. Playing some cards, playing some decks that are leaving the standard rotation on April 1st, because that is when Scar uh, Scarlet... Oh no, it is when Scarlet and Violet become legal. So, anyway, we're still, setting up, we're still setting up for a couple of minutes on our end. While we finish getting ready, please get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, and get yourself comfortable. And I'll leave you with some Accumulatown in the background. Uh, after the break, we're back with some PTCGO. See you after the break. Hello, hello, and good evening to you all, my lads, lasses, non-binary compass. It is, it is very good to see you again. It is I, Captain Steel 379, on the microphone once more. And once again, we are back to play some PTCGO. Now, as I said earlier, this is like the final hurrah for the service. It really is, because uh, they've already, because the Pokemon Company have already announced that they are not supporting PTCGO going forward. So that means no new sets. Uh, after Scarlet Violet, so, you know, before Scarlet Violet, I should say. So, uh, basically, Crown Zenith slash Silver Tempest are the last two, are the last two, um, sets that are in this, are in this service, and it's never getting updated, and eventually it'll just get shut down completely, which is, uh, which is gonna be a bit of a shame. Which means, uh, unfortunately, we do lose formats like Expanded and Legacy, uh, which which kind of sucks. It really does suck the fact that we're going to be losing, um, and even theme decks. I think even we, I think as as funny as it is, I think we even lose the theme deck format. Oof, that is a lot of stuff we're losing. Uh, but anyway, chat. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you're doing very well tonight. I hope you're doing very well tonight. Looking after yourselves. Uh, right then, before we get started with our first deck of the night, um, are you? I'll explain what, because uh, I'm pretty sure you've read the description and want to know what, uh, you know, standard rotation is for those of you who don't know. So let's give it that starting school. There we go. And we're also going to drop a link to our Discord server in the chat below. So if you want to keep up to date with going on behind the scenes, new emotes, animations, of which there's a brand new Final Fantasy VII. then please consider giving the channel a follow. You get to interact with an amazing community, get to keep up to date with goings on behind the scenes, new emotes, animations, and when we go live and what with. So, let's do that. Thank you very much. 
And now let's go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by standard rotation. So starting with, uh, where is, ah, right, here we go. So, uh, Mad Party is definitely a good place to start. Okay, Mad Party is a good place to start. So, chat. Uh, starting with Sword and Shield base set. Okay, starting with Sword and Shield base set, every single card was uh, printed with an identification marker. I mean, to be quite fair, all cards have had like uh, their st the emblem slash logo of the set they belong to. So you've got this uh, this particular one down here for Sword and Shield base set. You've got this one on the Obama Snow for Rebel Clash. You've got this one with battle styles. You know. A so they've always had their pictures slash logo slash emblem of the set that they belong to. You what? Sorry, did I not did I not make anything? Did I not make something clear? Did I not make something clear? Sorry. Uh, that's Bex in the chat. Hello, hello, and good evening, v Bex. Did I not? Was I? Did I slur my words or something? Uh, I was just messing around. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. So even in older sets, <laughs> sorry, no worries, no worries, no worries. So even in older sets, okay, uh, Pokemon cards have always had the uh, logo slash emblem of the set that they belonged to. If I bring up Energy Retrieve. Uh, Here we go, energy retrieval. You can see here it's, uh, it belongs to uh, Evolutions. Uh, my golden one. I said golden one. There we go. My golden one belongs to Ancient Origins, you know. But it doesn't have that uh, identification lettering. Starting from... Uh, no, no, no. Quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. So, yeah, starting from Sword and Shield base set. Okay, so... So starting from Sword and Shield base set, they came with an identification letter. So you've got certain cards with the letter D on it. You've got certain cards with F, certain cards with E, etc., etc. Um, so thankfully, what Pokemon have now done is by giving certain sets and uh, certain sets of sets uh, that classification letter, they can just say, okay, any cards with this letter on it that have not received a reprint, like... Um, uh, like, like Quick Ball, for example. Quick Ball has not had a reprint uh, going into Scarlet and Violet, so because it belongs to the D classification, we lose Quick Ball. Uh, kind of the same thing with Pokemon. Any Pokemon with the D classification that hadn't received a updated classification reprint goes away. So we lose, uh, in Mad Party, we basically lose the entire archetype. However, when it comes to certain Pokemon that have been very recently printed, such as Ditto, they've got the F identification marker. Uh, so yeah, that remains in. But uh, the thing is, the thing, the, th the thing is, very generic trainer cards like Pokeball, Great Ball, etc., continue to get printed all the goddamn time. So you just need to basically find your favorite art of that one and keep it. Uh, rotations really only tend to hit very specific uh, item cards trainer cards and pokemon as well as special energy cards because uh yeah we're losing two fucking big ones we are losing two fucking big ones we are losing twin energy which has been uh, basically diet double colorless energy and we are losing this the lich pin of the veggie deck aurora energy there is no good substitute for aurora energy we're basically losing that so yeah, we're basically losing any card that has not received an updated reprint with the de-identification. That'll also include very major cards like uh, like Inteleon, Shady Dealings Inteleon specifically, uh, along with the Drizzile. Honestly, Drizzile Inteleon have been two of the single most played evolution Pokemon in history okay and that's comparing it to the very recent print of b barrel i think uh, when b barrel has had its tenure it will be as played or if not more played than drizzile and inteleon because both of them had the ability shady dealings b 
for, for Drizzle, you got one trainer card. For Inteleon, you got two trainer cards. Stupidly powerful ability. Stupidly powerful ability. Um, let's see, what else did we lose? We lost Aurora Energy, which is, as I say, the lich pin of the Reggie deck, which upsets me. You, you can't believe how much that upsets me. Uh, we're losing Speed Lightning Energy, which means that Electric decks lose a little bit of draw support. Oh, God, what else do we lose? Uh, yeah, uh, we're losing the Primate Wisdom uh, Orin Guru, which is a bit of a blow to the Lugia deck. Thank fuck. Um, yeah, quick, uh, we're losing Quick Fall. God, what else is there? In fact, let me just... Uh, in fact, let's get some filters on. Uh, D classification, so that is Sword and Shield, Rebel Slash... Darkness of Blaze, Champion's Path, Vivid Voltage, Shining Fates. So what are we looking at? Uh, does, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Oh no, we're losing Aegis Slash? Yep, we're losing Aegis Slash from Rebel Slash. You didn't see much of it, honestly. You did not see much of it, but when it was played, god damn, that 30, da that 30 damage difference made the god damn difference. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Uh, Aegis Slash VMAX, one of the, one of the early advice here one of the best VMAXs because it's a giant fucking Aegis Slash, you know. That makes me exceptionally happy. We're losing Arctazol. Oh, that's big. You punished your opponent for playing energies from the hand on that one. There were some decks, there were genuinely some decks, chat, that uh, really played with Arctazol's Fighting Whirlpool and punished your opponent a whole bunch. Uh, let's see, what else are we losing? We're losing the targeted Scooter Barra Scooter. Not the most... Not the most played Pokemon, but in the decks it was useful, it was very useful. Uh, you didn't ever see that Blaziken. Not when the, uh, not when the, uh, Rapid Strike 1 came out. Boltund V. God damn, that ruled the boost for a while. Okay, we're not losing the, uh, Metal Transfer Bronzong, though. Thank heaven for that. As I said, we're losing Mad Party. Butterfree V Max, unfortunately, p uh, passes. Uh... Oh, that's one for Bex. Oh, Bex, I'm so sorry. The Leon Charizard, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately rotates out as well. Uh, Charizard VMAX. Uh, oh, Jinchino is big. Jinchino is big. Make Do was always fantastic. However, we do have a Lipard, kind of, to replace the thing. No, Leon, not Leon. Yes, unfortunately, even the Leon trainer... Uh, Kirby! No, Kirby! Our Kirby goes as well. The Clefairy Mini Metronome. Yep. No more playing Clef No more playing Kirby for us. Colossal. Uh, that upsets me because Colossal was supposed to be superbly good, uh, especially with the return of Ultra Ball, but nobody was ever able to make it work, and that sucked dong. It also didn't help the fact that a lot of uh, fighting and fire Pokemon were kind of bowled over by uh, Mew VMAX. That also kind of didn't help. We're losing Copa Raja, one of my favorite steel types from Generation 8. Uh, we are losing uh, Cramorant V. That's upsetting. We're losing the Dark Asset Crobat. We're losing this big Decidueye. However, you also know what that means, don't you, chat? We're also losing Obstagoon. Yes, we are losing the good Obstagoon. Uh, why are they getting rid of all these cards? It's just something that happens. It's just hap it's just something that happens from time to time. It is something that just happens from time to time. Yep. One obstacle go yeah, one obstacle goes away. Oh, look at all the jewel loot and oh, that mate, that upsets me. You cannot believe how much that upsets me. We've still got the dragon one, thank fuck, but but the champion's path metal Jewelude, which is the better of the two. You've got the raging claws, the metal sharpener. Oh, that, that that that's that's so bad. Eldegoss V leaving as well is also particularly terrible. Eternatus, you know, one of the biggest counters to Mew V, gone. Ouch. That that actually is gonna hurt. That's genuinely actually gonna hurt. Um, let's see what else. Frosma. That's gonna hurt Water Dex. That's gonna hurt Water Dex a whole bunch. Cursula? I mean, Cursula was never the greatest deck on the planet, but uh, it was. It's fun and annoying. It is fun and annoying. Galarian to Manitan VMAX. Before Manaphy was printed, this thing was was a fucking menace. Uh, Galarian Linoon. 
Uh, the evolution wall glaring me out. That's gonna hurt. Uh, one... No, uh, I mean, there's the Galarian Mr. Rhyme V, but yeah, no, the standard ones go away. And screen cleanup was going to be amazing in the next, uh, next, uh... Yep, unfortunately, we do... Oh, shit, we lose... Wow, okay, we lose both. We do, we lose both? They suck. No, seriously, they suck. Right, the thing is, it only goes out of standard rotation, not expanded, okay? Yeah, but both the Wicked Ruler and the uh, Galarian and the uh, Obstruct one go away. Then you got Galarian Berserker that helps power up your uh, that help power up your uh, Metal Pokemon. You got the CD Claws Berserker from Vivid Voltage. Pastel Veil Galarian Rapidash. God damn, that was that had such potential. That this is the one that hurts me the most. This is the one that hurts me the most. This Galarian Surfetch. I love Galarian Surfetch. You can't believe it. we're losing Galarian Weezing. That's gonna, that's gonna suck for some decks. Uh, there goes the Galarian Obstagoons. As, uh, sorry, Galarian Zigzagoons as well. The thing is, they always do end up printing certain bits and pieces again. So you know, it's not that they're gone forever. Uh, the, bo the Poisonous Puddle and the Trash Cyclone, Garboda. That blows major chunks. What else we got? We got. This Golisopod right here was an absolute life saver for the longest time, chat. An absolute life saver in, uh, in Zoroark decks. Genuinely Zoroark decks gen uh, at some point could not, uh, just couldn't, couldn't do anything without the thing. Uh, bu bunch of Hatterene, bunch of Hatterene. So yeah, we are losing a whole bunch of different stuff. And then if we go to... And then if we go to... Golden Shield, all the way up to Vivid Voltage and Shiny Fate. <sighs> this is one that hurts me. Ball Guy is rotating out. Bird Keeper is rotating out. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Boss's Orders has all of it, has seen plenty of reprints over the last couple of sets. Because we've had Boss's Orders Giovanni, Boss's Orders Lysander, Boss's Orders Cyrus. We're going to get Boss's Orders Getsis in Scarlet and Violet. Um, can, and Pokemon Company have already said that Boss's Orders, it doesn't matter who is on the front, the card's name is Boss's Orders, so you just pick whatever artwork you like. That's it. That's basically it. Okay, so even though Boss's Orders is classified in the D category, because it's had a reprint with a more up-to-date registration code, it is perfectly legal to play, same as Professor's Research. What about Leon, Raihan, and Piers? Vex, I am sorry, but I've got some bad news. Uh, same for Crushing Hammer. It's had a recent re a recent uh, reprint in Scarlet and Violet. That's actually fine and legal, ready to play. Same as Energy Switch, same as Energy Search, I think. Uh, Great Ball, absolutely. I'm afraid Leon has not had a significant update. Leon goes with rotation. Marnie goes, Milo goes, Metal Saucer goes. That's going to really, really hurt Steel-type decks. Uh, Oleana, I mean, nobody played Oleana, but it's still cool that we got him in the Rainbow Rare. Opal goes. Now, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one would be terrible, chap. This one would be terrible if we weren't getting a reprint of Super Rod in the next set, which I am very excited for. Super Rod is fucking awesome. Uh, Palpad also gets a significant reprint, so that doesn't rotate. But unfortunately, chat, Piers is going. Alright, no season two for this series, I'm afraid. I'm afraid so. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Piers, unfortunately, as cute as he is, as handsome as he is, as talented as he is, cannot escape the ban hammer. Pokeball is getting a significant reprint, which means we can still play our jungle era Pokeballs in real life. Thank you very much. Poker Kid, unfortunately, is. Uh, did not get a significant reprint, at least as far as I know. Uh, Poker Gear 3.0 does have a significant reprint. It does have a significant reprint. Uh, so does Pokemon Catcher, so does Pokemon Center Laney. So there's no need to worry about that. Same as Potion. Potion will, as I say, very generic sounding like supporters or item cards like Pokemon Center Lady, like Potion, will always, always get reprinted. So you just pick your favorite artwork or get full arts or whatever and just, and just go with it. Uh, 
Uh, same as Professor's Research, as I've already discussed. Uh, the Pokemon Company have already said the card's name is Professor's Research. It's just that the artwork on the front changes. You just pick whichever one you want. That's basically it. So long as Professor's Research is a legal card in that format, you can play whatever you want. Uh, Quick Ball goes, Rare Candy has seen plenty of repeats, okay, including for Pokemon Go, which is my go-to because it's rainbow and gay and lovely. Uh, Rare Fossil goes, so that kills Fossil decks. Uh, Rocky Helmet is getting a reprint, so you don't have to worry about that one. Rose, Rose Tower gone, Rotom Phone's gone. This is another big one. This is another big one. No Scoop Up Net going into Scarlet and Violet, which means that, on, which, which is a good thing, which is a good thing, because, chat, could you imagine a big bad 300 HP EXs being able to be picked up into your hand with a fucking item card? No. <laughs> You'll, you'll, you are going to see this in Expanded, okay? You're going to see this in Expanded when the EXs hit there, but uh, goddamn. Uh, Skylar? I can't remember if Skylar got a significant reprint, reprint so I'll have to double-check that. Switch? Switch is another one of those cards that are always, always, always going to get a reprint in in every legal set. So, you, again, you just pick your favorite one and go. I've got the Evolutions one, personally. Team Yelgrunt is gone. Telescopic Sight is gone. I think Tool Scrapper got a significant reprint. I can't remember, but again, it's one of those super generic tools. Uh, sorry, it's one of those super generic cards that always gets a reprint at some point or another. So just pick your favorite art, play a four set, and where you go. Vitality Band is getting a significant reprint in Scarlet and Violet. Yelhorn's gone. Wind and Stadium's gone. It's... It's... Uh, yeah. And... Spike Muth is gone, so we can't even, you know, keep Piers in our heart on the field. That upsets me. Uh, Pokemon Catcher seeing a significant reprint. As I say, Pokemon Catcher is, again, another one of those super generic item cards that always, always, always gets the reprint. But it is very specific characters that barely ever see a reprint. It's very specific locations. It's very specific uh, item cards, for example, like Nugget. Nugget, I don't believe Nugget ever existed. Uh, Metal Saucer, Memory Capsule, I doubt we'll ever get a reprint. Or at least they won't get a reprint anytime soon. Uh, we're losing Hyper Potion as well, which is upsetting, but I'm hoping for a reprint of that in the near future. I don't understand, okay? I. They've always printed these crappy draw three card cards, but they keep changing the fucking name. Do a professor's research. Call it, you know, call it Player Rival or Player Rival Blue, Player Rival Hop, Player Rival Bait or whatever, and keep the draw three, for fuck's sake. Gala Mine we're losing, Glimwood Tangle we're losing, which means that the Araquanid deck, deck is kind of dead in the water. We're losing Familia Bell. Uh, back when uh, back when that party was a new thing, this was very, very useful. Uh, Evolution Incense we are losing, which is both good and bad. Energy Retrieval is, again, one of those cards that's super generic and always gets a reprint. You don't have to worry about that. Same as Energy Search. Uh, Dan we're losing. Uh, Keralis we're losing. Cave of Toughness we're losing. Capacious Bucket, Burning Scarf, Bird Keeper, Big Charm, Big Parasol, Bait himself, B. Air Balloon. Air Balloon is huge. Air, ba Air Balloon is genuinely a huge one to lose. So, yeah. We are losing a lot of good stuff with the declassification rotation. But anyway, chat. Let's, uh... Let's actually play some games, shall we? Let's actually play some games. And if... And if we're going to be losing a bunch of D-rotation stuff, then how about we start off by having a fucking party? A mad party! So if we get rid of that, we're going to listen to the Mirror B disco theme from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Put the Mr. Rhyme on board. Let's uh, go! Oh, yes. You won't believe the title of a manga I've gotten today. Oh, dear. Go on, then. What's the name of the manga, Bex? Okay, here we go, Arthur. Okay, if I had to guess from the Dragon Coin, we're either fighting Duralude and Arceus, or we're fighting Reggie Drago. Uh, look at my latest tweet when you have the time. 
Oh, come on then. I'm on my tablet as well, so I might as well have a quick look see at uh, at Twitter. Okay, we are going first, which you know is both a good and a bad thing. Holy shit! Okay, uh, this may not be terrible. Uh, if we're going first, we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, bolt hunt, bolt hunt. Okay, uh, let's put the Orangaroo into play. Let's play the Nesty. We're going to Primate Wisdom, the Twin Energy, on top of the deck. Collapse Stadium. Okie dokie. And we're just going to do that. Uh, let's have a look-see. Let's have a look-see. Lance for three Dragon Pokemon. Dragonite, Dragonite, Dragonite. Oh, that is fucking clever. That's actually real clever. That's real clever. They now use Bolton to start building up both the... Uh, both the, uh, what's the one I'm looking for here? Yeah, they're starting to build up the, uh, the Dragonite. Or Dragonite, I should say. Just the one. Okay, then. But we can Twin Energy here. Put the Glimwood into play. We're going to Primate Wisdom the Bonnelby on the top. Uh, Double Turbo does us no favors here. Okay, here we go. Astral Misfortune. We need Double Heads. Tails one. Heads one. No, we need to flip again. Come on. Tails that's an even worse result that's an even worse result god damn it well there's the evolution into there's the evolution into the v-star there's double evolution into the v-star that gives it that gives it a limb with tangle that's a little unfortunate now avery doesn't affect us thankfully and then electrify once again Oh my, that's the name of it? Good gravy. Okay then, so we are going to Boonelby. We're going to put the Dedene down, okay? We're going to, you know, put the double turbo on the Boonelby. No, because I'll have to shuffle the deck. Okay, uh, we're going to Astral Misfortune, the Act of Volta, and we got Tails, and we got Tails. That's that's four tails in a row. Damn it. That is four tails in a row. Damn. Man, that sucks. Still, that's uh that's the that's a hell of a name for a uh for a manga series. Damn. Okay. So we coon down. Okay, air balloon, they get to go out into the Dragonite now. English version is completely unsented, and holy hell, is exactly what the title is. I mean, fair play? Question mark? Okay, Geiger Impact. What do they have? Uh, show me the play, Matt. What can it... Can't attack. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Okay. We're going to grab a hold of a Pulte Geist. We're going to grab a hold of a Mr. Rhyme. And we're going to grab a hold of... Hmm... Does collapse state? No, it doesn't do us any. No, it does not do us any favors. We could grab a hold of choice belt. No, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab a hold of a level ball. That way, then we can thin the deck. One, two, three. Nope. We bring out the Orin Guru here. Ultra ball. Actually, that. Hmm. That could be quite helpful. So, okay, here we go. We're going to put the air balloon down on the Orange Guru. We're going to play the Ultra Ball. Get rid of the Mr. Rhyme and the Dedene. Grab a hold of another Mr. No, 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 no. Grab a hold of another Pult T, guys. Yeah, yeah. Grab a hold of another Pult T, guys. You can then level ball for any sort of... Uh... We do not have a lot. Wow. Okay. Oh, we can just grab the Dene here. We're going to DP a hmm, question. Oh, no. Here, here we go. We, we'll tea break away the Dene first. Twin is better. Twin is better. So we're going to put the Twin down on the Pult T, guys. Here you go. 
and we're going to Serena away both of these cards. Actually, no, we're, not. we're only going to get rid of the Bonalby here. Draw four. Okay, that kind of helped. Put the Choice Belt onto the Bonalby. T break away the other Pol T Geist. Come on, I need Serena Ditto. Ditto works. Okay, we can Primate Wisdom the Twin back on top of the deck. Another DTE. Damn. Okay, here we go. And then with Bonalby, we are doing how much? 110. Oof, that is not good. Uh, whoever gets the happy... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, will you do a pack opening or will you save them for a change? Um, I am planning on doing a bit of a uh, pack opening. I am planning on doing a little bit of a pack opening. Okay, Crystal Cave will also heal 30 per turn, which is unfortunate. However, we what we can do, uh, yeah, considering there's a Bonobie in the discard, what we can do is double turbo to the Ditto. Yeah, we can double turbo to Ditto here. Okay, we're going to Primate Wisdom the double turbo on top of the deck. Well, there's another choice belt, so hallelujah, holy shit. Uh, cool. Put the DTE on the top, like there. I don't want to give them fleet-footed. Bolt Hunter's a bit of a pain in the backside too. But then again, we need to... Yeah, I'm going to keep slamming the Dragonite, I think. Yeah, keep slamming the Dragonite. So yeah, planning on doing a little bit of a... Uh... Yeah, I am planning on doing a little bit of a uh, of a pack opening at some point, simply to uh, you know go through some of the history of TCG and just like you know open up a few bits and pieces before heading over. Okay, we're getting the boss's orders. Orman Guru. Yeah, there we go. I thought it was going to be Orman Guru, but they don't retreat, so we're going to go even in prizes. However, what they have done, uh, 110, right? Yep. Oh, that's what they've done. Okay. We may need to attack with a poltergeist here. Um, uh, maybe. Yeah, no, we need, we need to attack with poltergeist, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, turn energy down on the poltergeist. Hate doing this, but we're going to have to discard the double turbo because that's not going to help us out at all. Okay. Here's what we can do. We can play the level ball. What have we got left in the deck? Okay, we can grab the last... We can grab the last Bonalby. We can tea break away the Mr. Rhyme. We'll tea break away the Bonalby. Level ball four for, uh, for Sinesti. There we go. And now we just get to take the knockout on the Dragonite. So how much are we doing? 140, 120. Okay, so a Dedenny is great to see. A Bonalby is great to see. There's another 40 in the in, there's another 40 power. There's another 40 power. Okay, so are we going to see Electrostorm here? We could see Electrostorm. Spacious Bucket, get some two basic water energies out of the deck. We need to find Collapse Stadium is what we need to do. We need to find Collapse Stadium. More than anything. Okay, let's put the Bonalby into the active spot. Put the Bonalby down. Okay, T breakaway one, Mr. Rhyme. Or the, the Mr. Rhyme, I should say. Drapion Heavy Ball. Oh, this could get us another basic. And it, it I mean it does, but not the ones we need. No, 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 not the ones we need. Uh, we can T break away the other Dedene here. Okay. So we are doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 180. 
for 210 with the choice belt if i've done my mathematics correctly please tell me i've done my math correctly i've done the math correctly i've done the math correctly okay we are now just the boss's orders away from winning we are just the boss's orders away from winning chat we have a gigantic hand they need to play judge they need to play money need to play uh roxanne they need to play something that'll disrupt my hand otherwise i just bring out the other bolt hunt and we win okay they're gonna boss his orders up the poltergeist no the ditto oh that's actually very very clever because the ditto uh doesn't add towards the uh, mad party counter however not that it'll matter we just bring out the bunnelby Level ball. Okay, we can grab a hold of the other ditto here because that's the one that's in the most use. Play the Ultra Ball to get rid of Manaphy and Drapion at this point. Grab Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, the Collapse Stadium is still in the deck and we get one opportunity for this. So, here we go. Key break. Just absolutely maximizing everything. Okay, no. <sighs> Whatever you say, game. Okay, boss's orders out the ball hunt. And we take the win. Kaboom! 230 damage. Yeah. We needed the Collapse Stadium. We did kind of need the Collapse Stadium, chat, just to get rid of the Dene on the bench. All that effort and two tickets. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we are so close. We're so close to this Charizard V-Star. I actually managed to pull this out of a Crown Zenith pack the other day. That was very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and do another mad party. Okay, here we go. Mad party once again. Ah, oh, nuts. So is my opponent gonna let me go first or second this time? What? Oh, oh, I see. I see why they've done that, chat. And I'll tell you why they've done that. They're playing Cresselia. If this is a psychic deck, they're playing Cresselia. They want the first attack. Yep. They, yep, they're playing Cresselia. Want the first attack so they can accelerate a shit ton of, uh, of basic psychic energy, which is not going to be fun for us. Let's put it that way. Yes, we do want the extra mulligan. What did I say? Chat, what do I hate being on this channel? What do I hate being? Correct. That's exactly it. Okay, so let's play the heavy ball first and foremost. Uh, Dedene. Okay. We'll put the Ditto down, and we'll... We'll put the Twin Energy down on the bottom. Okay, that may be a mistake. That may be a mistake, but we've got to kind of preemptively play this. Hopefully, we get to keep our hand. We get to keep our hand, which means we get to play Professor's Research Juniper in the next turn. Which then allows us to have already 80 damage in the discard. Because remember, it's Mad Party is 20 for every Mad Party Pokemon in the discard. We're actually going to be seeing a bit of a pseudo-sequel to uh, Mad Party. I can't remember what exactly it's called. I think, the, I think the attack was called Unity Wings. It's effectively the exact same thing. Uh, for every Pokemon in the discard with Unity Wings as its attack, it's 20 damage. Uh, we've seen it on Watchful. We've seen it on Flamigo uh, in um, in, the ne in the next Scarlet and Violet set, which will contain the Ruinous Treasure Pokemon. Uh, okay, but here we go. Old Cemetery doesn't exactly, you know, matter to us at the moment. Because we can always build up Sinesti and Poltergeist. Okay, all three to the Calyrex. Oh, boy. Okay, Air Balloon... I mean, Air Balloon doesn't need any help us, but we're going to stick it on the Ditto anyway. Play the Professor's Research. Come on, Juniper. Give us something good, baby. You know what? Can't complain about that one. Uh, okay. We'll put the Radio Jirachi into play, because who knows? Maybe we'll be able to cheese out. Maybe we'll be able to cheese out a goddamn win at some, at some point. We're going to get rid of the Collapse Stadium. And we're going to grab a hold of a Sinesti. Yeah, we need to... Or... Oh, we could also play down our hand spectacularly and go for Crobat. When... Sometimes, chat, you've just got to say, 
fucking go. Grab a hold of Zidane, we're gonna have to get rid of the box of orders here. There we go, now we can grab a hold of Sinesti. Oh, now we can play the crow back down for a full six cards in the hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. We can also put down another Sinesti, and that's going to have to be returned. No, it's not. Quick ball away. One Dedene. Or, I don't know. Grab the Orwin Guru, ready for the next turn. No, 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 no. Grab a hold of Funnel B. Yeah, grab a hold of a bundle, just in case. Okay, now that's going to have to be the turn. Uh, no, it's not. We fall away the bundle, and grab a hold of another bundle. Now that's the end of the turn. Now that's it. Add party. We're doing 140 damage. Second turn, 140. Not too terrible, if I say so myself. And there's a choice belt that'll help us. That's going to help us. Uh, that's going to help us in the long run. However, we are going to need a lot off of the next two cards. Well, three, technically. Underworld door, they get to accelerate and draw cards. They're absolutely going to annihilate poor Bonnelby here. That was intense. That's going to give them access to a second Underworld door and be able to continue to build up the one on the bench. Cemetery again in a deck that and there's Marnie. Ooh, that's upsetting. Okay, so let's see what we would oh actually it wouldn't have mattered because we would have played level ball anyway. Never mind. <laughs> uh level ball, Mr. Rhyme, Polter. Okay, okay, that's something we can work with. That is indeed something we can work with, chat. It's a shame we lose it says it is a shame we lost the Glimwood. Okay, the Glimwood was kind of uh, gonna be our safety net here, but who knows? Maybe we can get lucky enough for the Radiant Jirachi to, uh, you know, get that double heads and take us three prizes close to victory. Active. Paul Donaro gets back a... Uh, oh no, they're only going to put back the... Uh, I was doing that, say there's no way they put back the Cresselia, surely. Manual attachment. Two big bad Shadow Rider Calyrexes are set up and ready to go. However, we can two shot them. We can two shot. And remember, unless they go after the Crobat, which, you know, we're going to try and prevent them from doing it, but we've already got rid of Collapsed. Oh shit. Okay, so they are a boss's orders away from really turning this game around. Okay. Okay. You know what, chat? That's actually not terrible. Because here's what we can do. We can thin the deck out and we can draw at least four cards here. Uh, give me... Yeah, give me the Dene because that's kind of useless right now. Okay. Key break number one gets rid of the Dene. Twin energy is okay. Let's tea break away the Mr. Rhyme. Please give me a DTE. No. Okay. 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 We've got to risk this. We do indeed have to risk this. Put the choice belt down, and we are just going to go, go, go with Professor's Research. Want the ball, Mr. Prime? The dough? Yep. Okay, that'll do. Play the great ball, grab and hold of Bunnelby. That'll do. Ultra ball away the Rhyme and the Bunnelby. Grab a hold of Poltergeist, but, uh, but so we can get rid of the next turn. We then retreat, ditto, into the Jirachi. Here we go. Come on, double heads. Doll. Doll. Triple doll. Doe all around. Now, they should not leave Jirachi in the active. They shouldn't. Evolution Incense gets him a third one. Yep, there it is. Big bad. So they can accelerate all energy needed to a third Shadow Rider Calyrex. This is continuously looking worse and worse, I'll be totally frank. Gets the basic energy. Allows them to accelerate it to the Shadow Rider. Draw 
one of the really unfortunate thing. Uh, yeah, Shadow Rider doesn't lose anything. I mean, yep, it doesn't lose with Cresselia. I mean, it loses evolution since we just use. Yeah, no, it, it basically doesn't lose anything. I mean, okay, it loses Sonya, but you can just continue to play Fog Crystal, right? Yep, Fog Crystal's an E-type. Yeah, very, very minor modifications needed for the Shadow Rider deck, really, for after rotation. Okay, so do... Oh, no, they played Sonya. Pokemon Catcher? They could have Pokemon Catcher. We need to put Manaphy down this turn. Yeah, we need to put Manaphy down this turn. Otherwise, we are going to indeed see that Articuno come in and absolutely wreck whatever we want on the bench. Okay, here we go. We need to do as much damage as possible. We do. We need to do as much damage as possible. So we're going to grab a hold of Poltergeist. We're going to grab a hold of Choice Bells. We're going to, we're going to grab a hold of Twin Energy here. Twin Energy down on the active Poltergeist. Poltergeist. We're going to save the other Choice Bells, but we are only going to do one break. How much are we doing? How much are we doing? Three, six, uh, two, four, six, eight, uh, two, okay, so that's 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 31. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We one, oh, chat, we one shot with the other. We've got a tea break. Shut up, game, I know. Level ball. Yeah, that doesn't help us out much. Yep, we are 10 damage off. I hate that so much. I hate that so much. We've at least prevented them from... Yeah. Okay, I've got to I've got to ask the question now. Okay, provided they don't play a mill. Okay, provided they don't play a mill, we can win this. We can win this. It's just going to take a lot of luck. You are not going to manually retreat here, are you? They're going to manually retreat onto Cresselia. No, they're not. Okay. 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 We've still got a chance. We've still got a chance here, chat. We have a chance. Bring out the Ditto with Air Balloon on. Put down the Auron. Ooh, no. Do we have Air Balloon still? No, we don't. The one and only is on the Ditto. Oh, poopy. Okay, we're going to put the Choice Belt on the Ditto. Yeah, put the Choice Belt on the Ditto. Okay, because this really doesn't matter. Double Turbo to the Ditto. Retreat. We need some mad party. 320? You have to be fucking kidding me! You have to be fucking kidding me. We were 10 off again. We were 10 off again. You cannot believe how much that annoys me. You can't believe how much that annoys me.
because what we needed to do was one shot that was one shot that and then serena up the other one okay here we go last mad party match for the night okay opponent's going first this time that's not actually that's not bad for us especially with this hand especially with this hand uh actually it might be a it might be a small problem uh Yeah, okay, Pikachu v Union. This is a problem. This is a real big problem. Right, give me a second, Joe. I need to go and grab. I need to go and grab a drink. Uh, we are going to take that mode. Oh, that doesn't help us out, man. Down comes from the Reeve. Pick your cards. Get to the electric energy. Energy, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, battle the IP pass. Oh! Oh, that blows. Oh, that blows so hard. I don't think we can beat Pikachu V Union. I'd like to, but I don't think we can. Manual attach. Gets ready for the manual retreat. In the next turn. We need a big draw. We need a big draw support here. We really, really do. Come on, game. Give me something good. Give me something big. And then that just makes it so easy. I'm going to grab another Finesse here just to be on the safe side. No point playing anything just yet. Oh, that blows. That actually blows. Okay. Okay, so it is uh so it's Rayquaza with uh So it's Rayquaza with Pikachu Union support. Okay. Okay. Interesting. We still need a lot coming off for the next couple of turns. Okay, there's the VMAX, but they can't play that just yet. That is another form of draw support. Lovely. Do they have the man? Do they have the? They have the switch, going out into Greninja. Do, do you have another switch? No, you don't. Okay. Okay. It, okay. So here's the thing, chap. Here's the thing. We can at least play the game now. I wish they had another one, but we're, we're going to play the preemptive stadium game here. Uh, going to choice belt the poltergeist. We're gonna quick ball away double turbo. Grab a hold of Crobat. T break away the Dene. Serena, Choice Bell. Choice Bell's fine, I suppose. Uh, we can. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I've got to think about how I'm gonna do this. We twin the Bonnelby. We choice up the Sinesti. We Crobat V for five. Okay, now that's more like it. We heavy ball here. Grab hold of the other Bonnel B. Because we're just about to get rid of all of these things with. We are going to play a Serena. Okay, and we're going to get rid of Bonnel B. We're going to get rid of Bonnel B. And we're going to get rid of Rescue Carrier. Draw three cards. Perfect. Now we can 
put the level ball into effect, grab a Dedene, because again, they are use they are genuinely useless in this matchup. Grab the Raging Jirachi, key break away the Dedene, come on. Okay, so that gives us some draw for the next turn. That's fine. Mad Party only does, what, 60? 80. Okay, we can two-shot the Greninja as long as they don't scoop up net the thing. They could scoop up net the thing. Uh, they set, they have concealed cards. They've got Azure Pulse. They've got Dynamoto on play as well. They could also play Rose Tower. What about a Let's Go Nuzlocke? Uh, okay, so they play Amani. Uh, let's go know that will that even be worth him since you have to catch Pokemon to get XP. Um, I don't know how I don't know how that would work. I'll be completely frank. I don't know how that would work. It might work. It might not. I'm as I say, I'm not 100 percent sure. Are they stranded in the active spot? They played Marnie. They have to as you pulse away most of the cards which is mm -hmm. it's okay because there's three pieces of the pikachu v union in there now uh paralyzed concealed do they have a way of moving this radiant greninja no but they are going to start building up the rayquaza there's the ultra ball that could get rid of the last Pikachu V. No, it doesn't. There's the di there's the final piece of Pikachu V Union. They've already used Azure Pulse once this turn, so they can't do it again. They don't have a means of getting Greninja out the discard though. Out of the discard, out of the active though. Oh, chat. We can we can work this to our advantage. We can work this to our advantage. Okay, Dynamote is going, as I say, going to start building at the Rayquaza. That's fine. That's okay. Whatever. I don't want to play the Glimwood. I don't want to play the Glimwood until I absolutely have to. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to grab a hold of one Dedene. And we are going to quick ball that thing away for another Dedene. Two for the price of... Okay, here we go. So, T break number one on the Dedene. Give me something I can get rid of. Not quite what I had in mind. Grab a hold of the Poltergeist. We're going to T break away the other Poltergeist. Okay! That is not what I had in mind. But okay, we can set up we can set up Jirachi for the next turn. We can set up Jirachi for the next turn and take the and take the first prize. We are now doing 140. We're doing 140 here. Okay. Uh Ditto is probably one of the best cards we could have asked for. Of course they bring out the bolt and they don't want to get rid of the draw support just yet. Okay, so and they got rid of the boss's orders, so that's kinda neat. But they are going to be able to get the Pikachu V Union into play and start building that thing up. Case in point. So let's see what the whole thing does, shall we? We got Union Gain, we got Shocking, uh, Sparking Shot, oh, but we are more than likely going to keep seeing Disconnect. Disconnect would prevent us from playing item cards. It's effectively item lock. Very much, very similar in the vein to Vika Vault. Uh, there goes Professor's Research, dump the two, grab a hold of seven. Hold for more. Lightning Energy Rayquaza goes to the discard. They're pretty much set up now. All they need to do is just keep refilling the discard up full of uh, electrical energy and they're good to go. Okay, so another Rayquaza. We need to get lucky, okay? With the Glimwood Tangle, we need to get lucky. Oh, they're going to go straight into the Pikachu, aren't they? Are 
are they? Yes, they are. They're going to disconnect. Which means, is it... It's Just as a question, does that say specifically uh, item cards? It is item cards. I was correct. It is item lock, not trainer lock. Big difference between the two. Okay, that's a little unfortunate to see. Okay, well, first and foremost, we're bumping the stadium with Lintwood Tangle to enhance our chances for Ashbourne Misfortune. Down comes the Ditto. Down comes the Oven Guru. We're going to pop the Twin onto the Poltergeist. We're going to play the Research. There we go. Even more power. Bye-bye to one. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Uh, what is that Pikachu card? This is what's known as a V-Union card. This one gigantic card is made up of four smaller cards each. So you have to get each of the four cards into the discard, and then you get to build up the big card from the discard onto your bench. But it gives up three prizes, very much like a V-Max does. So it's a risky card to play. Okay, here we go. Astral Misfortune. One heads. Oof. Don't get my head. It's got... Come on, heads. No! Oh no, that's upsetting, chat. That is, uh, that's actually quite upsetting. That is quite upsetting, chat. That's quite upsetting. And now they're going to be able to, uh, they're going to be able to, they're going to be able to reset hand. There it is, win mark. Like Exodia, kind of like Exodia, kind of. Only this thing doesn't guarantee a win. My shit luck does. They're going to disconnect again, which will prevent me from playing Air Balloon, which is bullshit because in the next rotation there's a big rule change. Tool cards such as Air Balloon are no longer classified as item cards. They are just tool cards. That's why the next uh, big supporter, Arvin, uh, states, you states you look for a... Okay, well, we need to grab a hold of the U. We need to grab a hold of not one of those just yet. Honestly, we need to do as much damage as possible. We do. We need to do as much damage as possible. So we're going to grab a hold of Boss. We're going to grab a hold of both Galeria and Mr. Rhyme here. Okay, there we go. Bring out the Poltergeist. We're going to put the Twin Energy down on the other Poltergeist here. Now they've got no spread attackers, which is nice. We'll just put the we're just gonna put down the ditto. Put the we'll primate wisdom. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that just yet. Whoops. My bad. We'll get rid of one Mr. Rhyme here. Actually, how much am I doing? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Okay, it's only 22. So there's no need to go overboard with this. We are currently doing 2,500... Sorry, two, 250 damage. Yeah, even getting rid of that other Mr. Rhyme was not going to push us over the edge. If we had one more Mad Party Pokemon in the discard, 100% we'd have gone for it. But unfortunately, we don't have that. Now, are they going to keep the item lock going, or are they just going to say, fuck it and run? Because no matter what happens here, no matter what happens here, chat... We are going to be double turbo energing the Ditto to copy Mad Party in the discard and attacking the Pikachu V Union. We needed two more Mad Party Pokemon in the discard, and if we had if we had those two, 100% I'd have gone for it. But unfortunately, we just don't have that. So they're now weighing up their options. They're either going to retreat or they are going to go for the disconnect. Stop me from playing item cards, which is, you know, a, a, okay, no, they're just going into the Rayquaza. That's fine. Forest Seal Stone? Oh, okay, that gives them access to one card in their deck and adds straight to hand. So the question is, what are they going to grab? Could be boss's orders. I could genuinely see boss's orders here. Take an easy two prizes. We say we push them down to two. Let's have a look, see. 
As I said, boss's orders here makes a lot of sense. No, they're just going to go max burst. And they only had to get rid of one energy. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Grab the ditto. There's another Bonnelby. Uh, okay, double turbo energy to the active ditto. Bosses orders out the Pikachu. Tea break away the Mr. Rhyme. Air balloon up the Orin Guru. Get rid of Drapion. We have one twin energy left in the deck. Ultra Ball does not help us. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to Mad Party. Get rid of the Pikachu. That's three prizes. They now cannot play v uh, Pog Pikachu Reunion again, because when you beat it once, it's gone for good. Poltergeist, great. Double Turbo is fantastic. Professor's Research, okay. I don't think they can win here. No, I actually don't believe they can win. We've got Serena in the deck, we've got Twin Energy in the deck. If they money us, we put back Poltergeist and tur Double Turbo. Yeah, no, we win. All we have to do is hunt down the Bolt Hunt with either Serena or Boss's Orders or whatever, and we're good. We're, we're good. We're golden. We win. Hit them with the well played, because that's it. We win. We win, chat. There's not even any point in bringing out the Orban Guru here. Because all we're going to do is just bring up the Poltergeist. Play the Serena. Bring out the Bolt Hunt. Use the Ultra Ball to get rid of the Poltergeist and the Manaphy. Don't need to grab anything here. And we just mad party for mad damage, baby! Honestly, that, that disconnect could genuinely have been a problem. 27 coins. Can't complain. And we complete the second tier of the, uh, of the, of the ladder. Nicely, nicely done. For Charizard V-Star. So, what's on the bottom of the bottom of Full Art Sharon's Care. I must admit, chat, I would love to get this preemptively because uh, one of the cut, one of the decks in the newest set I would love to give a try is Oinkalone EX. We're going to go for Piggy Power is what we're going to do. But, 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 and it's a big but. Uh, I, I heard that you could also craft your own cards on PTCGL. I mean, uh, once I've shifted everything over, uh, We'll be uh, exploring the first time of uh, PTCGL together. But okay then, chat. That is going to be it for Mad Party. As you can tell, it's a very fun deck. It can hit the numbers when it needs to. It can hit the numbers when it needs to. Uh, and just and just goddamn. Goddamn, it can genuinely put up a goddamn good fight. So, the next question is, what are we... This is the final deck we're playing tonight. Okay, and you may think, but Steel, all of the Regis, aside from this one Regialoki, oh no, it's even that Regialoki, never fucking mind, uh, all of the Regis have got an identification of, like, E to F. Why are you saying that this deck is is dead? As I said last time, very simply put, it's Aurora Energy. Okay, you, Aurora Energy, Capture Energy, Twin Energy, I mean, it and Speed Lightning Energy, it all hurts, it goes, but you can always find ways around it. But it's Aurora Energy. That's the key thing. And the reprint for Aurora Energy states that if there is another special energy attached to the same Pokemon, that that energy then becomes a colorless a colorless energy. It, it's terrible. It's genuinely awful. Uh, not Panic Garb. Where is... Here it is. This is the next deck we're going to be playing. Uh, the, 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 the key thing of the deck, chat. Okay, the key thing of the deck, in fact... Uh, let me just check something.
Okay, I do not want to be trading away celebrations for those. God damn it. I want to try and get a Probat VMAX for, you know, not that kind of price. Why is everybody asking for fucking celebrations? No! You can... Yeah, no. VMAX, 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 celebration, 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 Rotom V-Star, but... God damn it, do I have to do everything myself? There we go, and I can always trade away a couple of packs as well. Actually, I'll give away one of you, and I'll give away... Uh, one Astral Radiance, just pick it, why not? There we go. That should hopefully get, get us what we need. Bitchin'. Okay, so this is not the most effective uh, version of the Poison deck, because uh, the most effective version would be uh, going between two lots of Crobat VMAX. You know, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between, uh, as I say, Crobat VMAX and Weezing. But, you know, we can at least play this version with the Garboda. And by utilizing Garboda, uh, let's have a looky. We can play with Oleana's Battle Theme from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, there we go. Okay, here we go then. There it is. Okie dokie. So, let's have a look see. We won the coin flip. Do we want to go first? Yes, we do. We do indeed want to go first here. Not. Okay. I'll be completely honest. Not starting a. Not starting a coughing with this particular hand really sucks. Seriously, not starting a coughing with this hand really does suck, especially considering we had Crobat. Okay. Let me be clear. They can beat catch and get any two cards they need. We have no disruption. That was an automatic loss. We had boost shake in the first hand and no way of getting a coughing. Seriously? And I know, I know, I know. People don't like it when people quit out of matches super, super early. But come on, chat. What the hell are the chances I, I could have come back from that kind of a start? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We can go. We we can go first this time. Thank you very much. We had a way of getting a copping this time. Okay, there's a copping. There's a muck. Come on, give me a boo shake, please. Or a quick ball. Quick ball will be good. We can get rid of one Serena, play the uh, Darkness Energy down, and go for a Crobat. Cool, cool uh, sleeves though, with the Charizard, with the Charizard and stuff. Flygon. Hmm. Okay, well we're gonna grab a hold of a Badoop here. Put the air balloon down, and we're going to call that a turn. Okay, so worst comes to the worst, okay? Worst comes to the absolute worst here. We... This is going to be Reggie Drago, isn't it? I think I saw... Yep, that's going to definitely be a Reggie Drago deck. Yeah, that's definitely Reggie Drago, alright. 
Arky. But, okay, but at least with Arceus we can get uh, Evolution Incense. Her oh boy. Okay, at least with Weezing in play we can slow down the... Uh, If our top deck is a bit is a bit barrel, I'll be very happy. If not, we gotta go uh, gotta go Serena. We'll play Gotta get rid of Muck, gotta get rid of that energy and potentially whatever our top deck is. Best top deck here, Galarian Weezing. Okay, Javaludin doesn't exactly help. It that doesn't exactly help. No. Uh, okay, Ultra Ball away. The Javaludin. Yep. And Reggie Drago. I called it. It's fucking Reggie Drago. Called it. Called it. Called it. Called it. Called it. Got Crobat. This is why Boost Shake is so necessary. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Ultra Ball away, the Muck and the Serena. We'll grab a hold of a barrel here. Okay, now we'll be barrel for five. Oh, sorry, for three. We'll be barrel for three. Avery, Boucher, Quick Ball, Quick... Okay. Considering we don't... Yeah, we don't need this. We can just get rid of the Boucher at this point. We can grab out a Crobat. We can draw even more cards here. For three. Level Ball, Hisuian, Sneasler. Thank you very much. Not going to need that, but we are going to need another Coughing in play. We can put the energy onto the Crobat. Play the Ovard. Put, put the Muck back into the deck here. Play the Serena just to discard and get five cards. Hey, there we go. Bye bye to your abilities, Crushing Hammer Heads. Yes, baby! That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Uh, okay, and now we're just going to... Crushing Hammer again. Gets rid of Garboda and Muck. Oh, dear. Okay, but that's fine. We can severe poison here. We're doing 60 a turn... Well, 60 between turns, I should say. And we're neutralizing gas, in effect. We shut down their abilities. Now, of course, they can always boss this order. They can always escape rope. They can always do one thing or another. There's the double turbo. There's the Arceus V-Star. Are we going to see Escape Rope? Are we going to see Boss? Are we going to see Switch? No, we're just going to see Amani. Gets rid of both Hiding Darkness Energies, which is unfortunate, but we do have more Crushing Hammer in the deck, so I'm not too upset by this. Please let us get a very big draw support off of this, please. Uh, hiding Dark... Gallimine. Gallimine's good. Gallimine's okay. Oh, Tall Scrap is not good. Tall Scrap is shit. Get rid of our air balloon. Hey, quick ball. Oh, they get rid of the Tall Scrap, huh? They're gonna let us keep it? Okay, there's Ready Drago V. But, ag but again. Okay, there's the, there's the next 60. Okay, there's Crushing Hammer. Come on, please. Get us another head. Okay, shit. Okay, um... Focus up. What did we just lose? Grimer. Okay, that's not... And we did also lose a Professor's Research. That also doubly sucks. Uh, gonna put the Gallimine into play. Play the Quick Ball on the Coughing. I Yeah, I don't see them attacking the bench at all. I don't think Manaphy is needed here, but we are going to 
We're not going to grab anything. We're not grabbing anything. Okay, here we go. Industrious for three. Darkness, darkness. Crushing hammer. Come on, crushing hammer, please. Yes. Yeah, baby. That's what we like to see. That is exactly what we like to see. We're going to put that on the coughing, and then we're just going to keep severe poisoning. 60 between turns. And their abilities are still turned off. No star birth. No dark asset. No uh, star. What the hell is it called? It's not star requiem. It's legacy star. Sorry. Thank you. No legacy star for you, good sir. Okay, there's another double turbo. We saw that coming a mile away. But we are going to be able to take the first prize if they do not retreat the Flygon here. Serena brings out the Crobat. No! That gives them access to Star Birth. And there's the switch. Or Legacy Star. They could go for Legacy Star. Okay, so they had to manually attach the double turbo there. They had to manually attach the double turbo. So question do they have a way of building they'd have to no i don't think they do i don't think they've got a way of building this up choice belt that's fine yep no they don't okay that's fine attach the hiding darkness energy just in, just as a precaution industrious for two pal pad quick ball pal pad helps uh serena and yeah, go double Serena here. Hmm. We don't have any more coughing in the deck, so I'm just going to have to severe poison here. You know, get some damage going. This is why the deck needs to run double Crobat, double Crobat VMAX. This is why... Okay, so we are going to see a two hundred, a 180 coming in against Galarian Weezing here. Now, ideally, what you can... Now, ideally, chat, we could find the... Uh, okay, so, so yeah, there's the Reggie Drago V-Star built up already. God. That is not what we needed to see. Put down the Grimer. We have got no choice but to attach Hiding Darkness Energy to the thing. We'll play the Orod. We'll do both. We'll put back Coughing, Wheezing. As well as the Double Darkness Energy. Okay, Industrious, please give us an Ultra Ball or something. Or you can just straight up give us the Crobat VMAX. That'll absolutely work. Thank you very hecking much. Um, okay, uh, put, the, put the air balloon down on... I don't know. Does it really matter at this point? Put it on the, put it on the Sneasler and... There we go. Professor's Research. Hey, look at that. We can now stealth poison, which puts us back into the Galarian wheezing. What? 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 Oh, oh, because it wasn't severe poison. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. Wait, no, it was severe poison. Why the fuck did it, did, why did it override it? Why did it override it? Switches out into Flygon. Okay. What, do they have an escape rope? Do they have an escape... No, they don't. Okay. Uh, we're going to play the Silene. Tails. Heads, thank fuck for that. Give me the pal pad back, please. And we can put back then we can put back Silene and we can put back Avery. Okay, 
Okay, survey a poison. Almost in my pants, what the fuck? Okay, there's another coughing. Doesn't exactly do us any favors. There's a Piers. You know, unfortunately, this is the last time we get to see Piers. Short, short gameplay of Father's Day. Father's Day? Very well made. Oh, it's a horror game. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, what would be the... That's unfortunate, chat. We don't need that right now. Uh, okay, so any Pokemon with ability... Okay, so they're going to get another Crobat, surely. Oh, no, I just realized something. How much does that do? 280, 310. Fuck! Okay, so we now need Serena. Wait, 350? What do you mean 350? Oh, Draconic Impulse, uh, VMAX, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, we now need to find Serena. Okay, so we can put Grimer into the play. Come on. Fuck. Okay, nothing we can do, really, except for thinning the deck. That's genuinely it. All we can do is thin the deck right now. Comes Gardevoir, doesn't matter. Do they have a switch? Do they have a boss? What do they have? Can't believe Crobat was taken out like that. <sighs> okay. The only way we're winning this. Okay, the only way we're winning this chat is... We need to be able to take out the... Uh, okay, so here we go. Crushing Hammer. Tails. That, that sucks majorly. Just grab the Darkness Energy from off of this. We don't even have enough energy for that. Uh, okay, so what we, what we may have to end up doing, chat, what we may have to end up doing is attacking with Garboda. Like, no kidding. We are, we may actually have to end up attacking with Garboda here. And then we just... And unfortunately, the one and only Muck and the one and only Garboda VMAX is in the discard right now. So all we can do is just severe poison again. No point blowing cards at the moment. Okay, so at least Regidrago is two turns away from getting knocked out here. However, if they have got it, if they have a switch and they have a boss's orders, we lose. There's a quick ball. They can't use abilities though. Okay, so bye bye Hisui and Gudra. Don't grab anything. Down comes the other Reggie Drago. Attaches a double color, a double turbo. Professor's research. They are digging. Oh shit! There's um. Okay, so there's training court. We can use that. Ordinaro rod gets him back some basic energy. We need to put the Galamine back into play here. Just the V Star comes back. Two basic energy, no doubt. Yeah, forty. Yeah, no, actually that doesn't do it either. Fuck. Yeah, we need the bit. We need the. We need the first hit on this. Training court, uh, they don't need, they can't play that down. As I say, we can utilize training court potentially. Yes, we can. Okay, so put the Gallimine back into play. We need to play the ball guy. Just, just grab a hold of the level ball. We're going to keep a hold of everything in the hand. We are going to just burn the level ball though and see what we've got. We, d we effectively ha do have game in hand. We have game in hand, chat. So just severe poison again. There's the muck. 
There's the Ultra Ball that, again, does not help us much. Yeah, that's 90. That's not going to do it. I think we lose. I actually think we just lose here. I should have I should have built up with a Sludge Bomb. But there's another Regidrago V star. They can't attack with... Our top deck, chat. Our top deck needs to be a. It needs to be a switch. It needs to be a. Uh, it needs to be a card. Okay. Our top deck needs to be a boost. Uh, that, that doesn't help. That actually doesn't help here. And I don't think we do enough damage. And, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Industrious incisors. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. There it is. We can now boss's orders out the crowbat. Retreat into the wheezing just to be on the safe side. Severe poison. No abilities for you, my friend. So now, so now it, it, it is, it's going to come down to this. It's going to come down to this. Okay, it is going to come down to this. Do they have a switch? Do they have a bird keeper, an escape rope, etc.? Because if they have anything, we lose. Marnie. Ordinary rod does not do it. Doesn't do anything here. It drove a V and V star. Basic energies as well. The thing is, we've put a lot of retreat cost on this Crobat. If they had the switch, they'd have just played it by now. There's another Arceus. There's another Arceus. We win! <laughs> Ooh, chat. That was getting very, very close. Chat, that was getting, uh, that was getting aggravatingly close. We just we were just able to strand we were able to strand the uh, the crowbat in play thanks to Sludge Street and Galamine as well as uh, Galarian Weezing. Oh Damn it all Damn that was close Damn that was close Okay Let's do another poison match Okay, I gotta I gotta make up for that one match we had to quit out of super heckin' early because you know the deck decided to give me the middle finger. Okay, so we lost the coin flip this time around. Honestly, depending on our first hand, we actually don't mind going first or second. Okay, you know what, chat? This is actually a really good hand. Like, no joke, this is actually a really good hand to start with. And we also get a mulligan. Uh, let's have a look, say. Uh, okay, water energy, we definitely need to play, be playing mana fee in this one. This is a lost box deck, okay. If I'd have known this was lost box, I'd have only started with one coughing. Because then we couldn't have be we can't be escape roped. Okay, they That's it. Woof. That is harsh. Okay. All we're gonna do here, okay, all we are going to do is just ascension this coughing into the second Galarian wheezing. That is it. That now shuts off all of their abilities. They cannot do uh, Flower Finder. They can't do... They can't do uh, Concealed Cards. They can, however, still play their items. They can play Supporters. If they play an Escape Rope, they can get the Galarian Weezing out of the active. That's not what we're really worried about for the moment. There's a Capture Energy that's going to get them something. I can, only, I can only assume that they have what they need. I can only assume it. Right? 
Uh, they've got... No, they don't. Oh, my God. Okay, we're just going to put the uh, hiding energy. We are not putting anything else into play. Okay. I will, however, grab another coughing to, f to fake out the fact that we could have another one in the... Uh, another wheezing in the wings. But here's what we're going to do. That's it. It would have taken two turns anyway. Okay, if I had 60, I'd have gone for the Hisuian Sneasler, but that's not what we need. So now there is absolutely no way on earth they can play... Okay, but they are going to get five cards in... They are going to get five. Okay, they are going to get five into the Lost Zone, which is going to set up for... Uh, which is, unfortunately, going to set up for... Crap, Morant. But they get rid of it? Okay, and they're also going to start setting up the Raikou, but thankfully... Hang on a minute. Crushing Hammer, come on. Heads, heads, heads. You made me wait all that time for a tail. Seriously, dude. As much as I would like to start setting up for the Grimer, I can't help but feel that could be a mistake. But... Whatever. Grab a hold of the Grimer. Put down the cr Crobat. Okay, now we've got the Manaphy down. That's absolutely fine. Severe poison. Okay, at least we can get Sludge Street going in the next turn. Some Sableye. Okay. So that's absolutely fine. Okay, here we go. Get the Sludge Street down. Put the Air Balloon down on the Mana V. O-Rod back the Coughing. And then Professor Research. Come on, Juniper. Give us uh, give us some good luck, baby. Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, okay, come on. Crushing Hammer Heads. Hey, that's what we like to see. Uh, okay. Just gonna hold a hand with this. Now, I have increased uh, Radiant Greninja's um, retreat cost from 1 to 2, thanks to Sludge Street. And they still don't have access to their abilities. If they play Escape Rope, I just go into the other Weasling. That's absolutely no problem whatsoever. If they play Boss, then, you know, that's gonna be a problem. Serena's gonna be a problem. Scoop Up Net. Ooh, okay. So, like... That saves the Radiant Greninja. They bring out the other comb fee. Put that put down. Oh, that's right! Oh, I just realized. Chat, I just realized they couldn't use Cramorant against Weezing. Uh, okay, they are going to have a build up for the Raikou. Okay, we're going to put the Badoof down. Uh, Silene. Does Silene help us out here? No. But the Hiding Darkness Energy on the Crobat, though, start setting that thing up. Um, yeah, no, I don't think anything here really helps. We could set up for the next turn, though. So, Silene, one Tails, two Tails. Okay, we are kind of in trouble now. We're now kind of actually in trouble. We need the Silene to come through for us. Thankfully, though, we haven't played Palpad yet, so we can still get her back. Okay, Hisuian Heavy Ball gets them whatever they want from the prizes. Another comb fee. Not that they can use the abilities right now. Again, Serena, uh, Boss's Orders, etc. can really be a problem here. Now comes Greninja, so they obviously don't have that. Okay, that's fine. Again, Severe Poison. Okay, I've made that one retreat cost a two. So they need an air balloon, a switch, a scoop up net. How many scoop up nets do they use? Two. Okay, so they still got two in the deck. 
potentially. There's Garboda VMAX. Not that that's going to be very useful right now. Again, I don't want to be getting rid of the Hiding Darkness energy. I don't know why it takes me so long to play. Let's go Eevee. Uh, in what way? You mean booting up the game or just progression? Because, you know, I don't blame you for taking long for progression. It's a fun game to, like, go slow in. Okay, so how comes another cone feed? They don't have the Switch. They All they're doing is just preventing Pokemon from getting knocked out, which, you know, it's slowly but steadily eating resources. Uh, but they do have five cards in they have five cards in the last zone. One more, okay, one more, and that will uh, act. One more Colvez's experimentation does and will, in fact, activate. Okay, so they've managed to pay the two retreat cost on the Kombi with Air Balloon. That's fine, I suppose. Okay, there's Palpad. There's Palpad. Okay, we're going to put back Silene and the Professor's Research here. And no problemo. Okay, we're going to Severe Poison the Active Radiant Greninja again. Honestly, chat, that this is pretty much all we're going to do. We're going to just take it nice and slow for the time being. Okay, we're going to thin the deck out with Piers. Grab a hold of the Crobat VMAX and the Energy. Energy down on the Crobat. That's going to be it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. In the next turn, we're going to evolve the Crobat to Crobat VMAX. We're going to equip uh, Galarian Weezing with Hiding Darkness Energy. And then we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, here we go. Back and forth time, baby. Now, usually Cramorant would be able to attack because Lost Provisions means that with four cards in the Lost Zone, my opponent could... But here's what we're going to do. Oh, actually, there's no point. So we just... In fact, we're just going to Severe Poison. And the reason why we're doing Severe Poison is if my opponent plays a Bruno, then they don't get the full effect, because that's damage between turns, not, not like, raw damage. Okay, here we go. So Neutralizing Gas still in play. They can't use Lost uh, Flower Selecting. Down comes another Sableye. That's, genuinely, Sableye is, one, is the one card that's worrying me right now. Oh my god, that's what they do? Chat, they just gave me Sableye on a silver goddamn platter. We retreat out into the Crobat. We Stealth Poison. Take it out. Go back out into Weezing. Boss's Orders. Absolutely wonderful of card. Wonderful card. Again, Neutralizing Gas is preventing any and all abilities right now. They don't have the attack, otherwise they'd have stayed in, attached, and just gone for it. Wait, what the hell? Escape robe, okay. So we're going to go out into the other Galarian Weezing here. You don't think I'm that silly, do you? Do you? You don't think I'm that silly? Uh, Vitalia, if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, 120 more damage. The thing is, the thing is, chat, that has to be uh, knocked out during your opponent's last turn, not in between turns. Poison, circumvents, retaliate. But that won't, though. Okay. Okay. There's no need to panic. Put down the coughing. Put down the darkness energy. Play the O-Rod. Put back the coughing and the wheezing. 
we just set this all back up again no problem now i wish we played a darkness spread attack i'll be honest um okay we could boss's orders out the stable eye we could start weakening down the raikou Yeah, let's start weakening down the Raikou. Will we need Gutton? In fact, I'm not even taking the risk with playing the Garboda this turn. We'll grab a hold of Weezing for the next turn. There we go. And then we're going to start severe poisoning the thing. Okay. Colvez's experimentation sets up Mirage Gate now. So they can Mirage Gate to the Greninja. They can Mirage Gate to... Zamazenta and potentially set that thing up ready for later. Maybe a Radiance Alakazam in here could be a really good idea. Because I don't actually play a Radiant Pokemon in here. Okay, we kind... Okay, so we kind of need to take out the Sableye. Yeah, we kind of do. Actually, do we? Maybe? Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get rid of the professor's research and grab a hold of Fneasla. There we go. More damage between turns. 70. Okay, I think we do enough. How many cards are in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we do need to go into Galarian Weeze in here. Oh, doesn't that just suck? Okay, but here's the thing. Um, okay, they'll be able to... They will take out Galarian Weezing here, but we, in turn, take out uh, Raikou due to poison. Okay, so they're obviously favoring, favoring one thing. That's fine. Let's bring out the Crobat. We take two prizes. We take the coughing, we take the boost shake. How many Weezings are in the disc? Two. God damn it. Okay. Play down the coughing. Hmm. We do win in two turns. Okay, and they... But we need to evolve. Okay, so we need to get rid of Bushik, we need to get rid of Liverball. Okay, that takes their win condition off the deck. Okay. Um... I mean, the way we could do this... Okay, the way we could absolutely do this is we go after Zamazenta, or 
we go after Sableye. I'm actually tempted to go after the Sableye because Crobat can take out anything else. Yeah, go after the Sableye. We need to go after Sableye here. Uh, go Industrious and Scythers. That doesn't help us. There we go. And then we just hit them with a the Stealth Poison. Uh, go out into Manaphy. The thing is, Manaphy still protects the bench. There's a Gallimine. And the last prize card, of course, is Galarian Weezing. Okay, so they get access to their abilities again, but it may be too little too late. Maybe too little too late. Okay, there's Culver's Experimentation. Gets rid of another two cards into the Lost Zone. Battle VIP Pass Manaphy. Great choices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. So they've got Lost Mine on deck, but they can only spread 12 damage counters. They can take one knockout on the coughing. They can't take out anything else. We just come in with um, with Crobat and just take out whatever they want and whatever we want, unless they've got like a... Oh, no, they've already Cold Rest. Oh, never mind then. Oh, they can play Escape Rope. Uh, what do I bring in an Escape Rope? History and Sneasler. Again, it doesn't matter what they bring in. Uh, we've got a way around it. Oh, yeah, because of Air Balloon. Never mind. Yeah, we just win. Double stable light, double psychic energy. That's going to get them whatever the fuck they want. Uh, and remember, because Manaphy is still on our side of the field, uh, we can't get uh, Moonlight Shurikund. So, quick ball away something for Sableye. Mm hmm. Quick ball for another Sableye. Again, it doesn't matter. We've got one prize left. They can't take out Crobat in one hit. Unless they play Radiant Javachi. But then again, they need po They would need to flip a heads on Pokemon Catcher. They would need to... Uh, hang on. Sky Steel Stone. Uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon V-Star or active V-Max is knocked out from an attack. From your basic Pokemon V. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, that's why they're playing Raikou. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. They saw the writing on the wall right there and then. <laughs> oh shit, we did 420 damage check. Can I get can I get a nice in the chat, please? Can I get a nice in the chat, please? And trade completed. Yeah, there it is. One Crobat V V Max. Thank you very much. We can now really, really uh we can really make the nice. Thank you so much, Bax. Uh where is it? 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 Weezing Toxic. Here we go. We can get rid of Garboda. Look, I like Garboda. Don't get me wrong, chat. But in terms of... But yeah, just in terms of... Like, absolute efficiency. In terms of absolute efficiency, chat, two Crobat V, two Crobat V Max is absolutely the way to go if you're going to be playing a bunch of poisonous Pokemon like this. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go into Versus. Okay, we're going to do one more with the Galarian Weezing deck. We're going to do one more. But, but there you go. You saw how destructive Galarian Weezing has been for several decks in the format. Just the ability to shut down abilities the way that uh, Galarian Weezing did. Superb. Oh chat, this is what you call a this is what you call a first turn. Chat, this is indeed what you call a first turn. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Uh we're going to ultra ball away. The air balloon and the professor's research. Yeah, we're gonna visit. Yeah, get rid of those two. Grab a hold of another cough. Coffee? No, no. Uh, mm. 
Now grab another coughing. Yeah, grab another coughing. We need to be able to shut this down as fast as possible. Basic energy to the active coughing. We're going to Crobat V for four cards. Oh, that'll do it. Uh, okay. Play the Crushing Hammer. Please head Tail Switch. Okay. Now we're going to grab a hold of Badoof. And then we can play the Boost Shake on the active coughing for Galarian Wheezing. Shuts down all of their abilities. There's a double turbo. Okay, Cotton Guard. 90 damage. Okay. Let's grab ourselves an, a Grimer. Put the Hiding Darkness energy on the Crobat V. Stick the other Crobat V down. Yes, draw until we have six. Okay, we're going to get rid of the Boost Shake Coughing. We're going to grab ourselves Bibowl. Evolve up into the Crobat V. And then Professor's Research for a fresh seven cards. Oh, bitchin'. Uh, okay, Crushing Hammer, Tails. God damn it. Uh... Ordinaro Rod doesn't exactly do us any favors right now, so we are just going to severe poison. Start stacking up that damage, baby. Then in the next turn, we go into the Crobat VMAX, equip the energy, play the Pal Pad to get back both Professor's Research. Oh no, you know what we're going to do? Oh, they're gonna retreat out into the vaults, and then they're gonna, and then they're gonna manually retreat. Wait, or are they gonna memory skip? God damn! It. No, I didn't think they were going to do that because that would be kind of hilarious. Okay. Okay, go into the crowbat. Double the quick ball, double the fun. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna quick ball away the boss's orders, which I know sounds a bit weird. Gonna grab a hold of another coughing. Play the darkness energy down on the crowbat. Now we're going to play the pal pad for bosses, orders, and professor research juniper specifically. We're going to play the ordinaro rod to put back one coughing, one wheezing, and both those basic darkness energies. I told you I had a plan, chat. Now we're going to do professor's research. Arena. Oh, ah, beautiful. Beautiful. There it is. Okay. Sludge Street can activate. There's another Galarian Wheezing in play. And Stealth Poison. And we've even got Piers for the next turn. Okay, well that's shy okay, well that's refinement and they can't do that. Okay, we've shut down their draw engine effectively. They we have shut down the draw engine. Cotton got uh, 70 again. Okay, we're just going to play the peers, grab a hold of another Galarian wheezing and a basic darkness energy. And there's no point wasting the Hiding Darkness energy at this point. No. No, 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 no. We're just going to get as much damage as we can with the Severe Poison going. Because remember, Poison poison isn't affected by, like, uh, defense increases or whatever. So, okay, we're still shutting down their... We're still shutting down their draw engine, which is the main thing we need to do. Putting down the Choice Belt doesn't need to help them. Cotton Guard will take out the Galarian Wheezing. That's absolutely fine. Now, Stealth Poison doesn't... Oh, no, it will do enough damage. Uh, okay. 
I'm just going to start building up the second Crobat here. Stealth Poison. Takes out the Whimsicott. Go back out into Galarian Weezing. Okay, Muck doesn't help us. Piers might help us. Uh, what are we looking at? Magical Shot, 120. Doesn't do enough. There's Greninja. Again, another draw support, but it doesn't do anything here. Uh, you're weak to metal, unfortunately. Okay, now this is unfortunately one of the times we are going to have to uh, we are going to have to blow through a special energy. But here we go. We just get to put another coughing into play. We'll put the hiding darkness energy onto Weezing. Go out into Crobat, Stealth Poison, and back out into Weezing. Again, shutting down their draw. I uh, got my second gym badge. Oh, congratulations. Nicely done. Okay, so Gardevoir is going to be able to take out Galarian Weezing. Absolutely 100% going to be able to take out Galarian Weezing here. But we in turn do get to take out the... Uh, we in turn get to take out uh, Gardevoir here with uh, Stealth Poison. Arceus. Oh, and they've just... Oh, shit. Chat, that is what you like to call uh, no bueno. We are going to need to dig for Galarian Weezing here. Shame we've got to sacrifice an, a, a muck. We kind of do. Or do we? You know what, chat? I'm actually going to go against my better nature. I'm going to go against my better nature here. I think it's going to be okay to set up both muck. Just go for the stealth poison knockout. And bring out the... No, 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 no. Just sacrifice the Grimer. We sacrifice Grimer here. Oh, God. Perfect. We can get back a... Uh... We can get back uh, of coughing, wheezing, or, d or double wheezing. We can do double wheezing. How many over have I already played? Uh, already played the one. Okay, so that's the second and last one, so we need Silene at this point. Okay. Okay, the Marnie un it, Mar Marnie's unfortunate, chat. Marnie is unfortunate. Oh, th and, and there's the fucking wheezing. God damn it. Okay, just Trinity Charge, though. Okay, just attaching to itself. That's bad. Well, there's it. There's an. Well, there's the wheezing. So crushing hammer heads. Industrious for two. Avery Crobat V Max. Play the Avery. Quick ball boost shake. I mean, we could. I mean, we could boost shake. But let me just check something. We're going to get rid of the ball guy. How many hiding darkness energies have I got? None. Then there's no point. Then there's no point. I've never seen someone playing a deck around Arceus. Um, this, isn't, this is not meant to sound like an um, actually. But uh, Arceus V-Star, which is the evolution of uh, Arceus V, is by far and away one of the best cards currently in the format. Loads of people play it in a variety of different decks. Okay, Evolution to the active. Plus we're going to have Sludge Street active. Okay, Professor Research. Hopefully they don't find the V-Star here. They probably could, they probably will, knowing my luck. I hate it when I'm right. That now gives them that now gives them access, chat. That now gives them access to uh, that now gives them access to uh, Starbirth, which is their V Star power. Search your deck for any two cards that you want. Stick them straight to your hand. Clever. 
very clever. Okay, Trinity Nova, 180, so... Mm. Okay, well, there's Silene, so come on. Come on, Silene, please. Tails, heads. The unfortunate thing is, chat, we need to put Power Pad back. If it was, if we got double heads there, we would have been able to put back our Ordinary Rod, but we didn't, so we couldn't. Okay. Set up the Crobat VMAX. Put the Gala Mine into play. Industrious for two. Okay, well, there's Palpad. So we can put back the Silene. We can put back Avery. Maybe next turn. Okay. Do we either do the... In fact, no, we don't. I don't know why I was about to even question it. Just go for the stealth poison, prevent them from using abilities for another turn, and try and hope that we, and try and hope that we can get ourselves a a uh, another energy so we can do max cutter. Yeah, because max cutter takes out Arceus in the next turn. Now, we've given them a retreat cost of 5 due to the combination of Sludge Street and Gala Mine. They Trinity Nova, they take out the Galarian Weezing, they accelerate energy somewhere else potentially. A basic energy, that's what we like to see. Okay, now I'll industrious for one. Boss's orders. Okay, here we go. Max cutter does 180. I believe that's now. Yep, and then with the poison damage between turns, we take the knockout. Okay, we are with one turn away. To be quite fair though, both of us are like one turn away. If this if the if they have got if they have a boss, if they have a boss, they win. Okay. Oh, do, do they? Do they win? Yes, they do. They do. They do. They do. They do. Because we've got no way of retreating the barrel or no way of retreating Muck. Unless we get insanely lucky. Whimsicott V-Star. Uh... Okay. Uh, 160 can't play tool or special energy cards. Fine. But then again, Gallimine is putting in some work. If they cannot retreat Radiant Greninja, or if they cannot force something into our active, that's it, we win. God, it's coming. It is goddamn close. It is goddamn close. It is, it's nail-bitingly close. They've got access to refinement as well as industrious, I think. Down comes another Arceus. Forest Seal Stone. Oh, that's okay. That They have access to Star Alchemy instead. Okay. So that gets them one card. It depends what this one card is. Chat, I hate games like this that are so goddamn close. What is it that they've got? The anticipation is killing me. Marnie! Ooh! Okay, that throws a spanner in the works. That actually does throw a spanner in the works, unless we can unless we can somehow shuffle our deck. Uh, Silene, ordinary rod works. Okay, so there's an there's an, there's an ultra ball. What's that going to get them? Guard of War could get them Guard of War, and it does. Okay, so they're going to evolve the Curlier or the uh, that gives that gives them refinement again. 
Uh, but Marnie was their supporter for the turn. That was the thing, chat. Marnie was the supporter for the turn. Okay, so in Heavy Ball, they get, to they get to see what their final prize card is. The barrel for three. God, do they have what they need? No, they don't. We just win. Oh, my God. We just win. Well played. We just max cutter for the knockout. Goddamn Crobat. Crobat, goddamn Galarian Weezing, everybody. Sweet mother of Mike. Oh, they didn't have a second Arceus V-Star. Okay. That was insanely lucky towards the end. I should have checked their deck, actually. I should have checked their deck. Okay, so what other deck do I play? I kind of disappear. I mean, that is one of them. The Swords of Justice. Just you losing, yeah, I mean, maybe, hmm. but no, the next deck we're going to be playing, okay, the next deck we're playing is genuinely, my has genuinely been my absolute favorite deck of Astral Radiance onward, it has taken, it's taken tournament after tournament after tournament, not, not my particular build, but the entire archetype has taken build after build after build. We're playing the Reggies. And of course, the only music that we can listen to while we do this is, of course, the Reggie battle music from Sword and Shield. As I said, as I said, chat, with the energies falling out of rotation as they are, unfortunately, the Reggies just lose all of the steam and firepower that they need in order to make them work. It hurts my soul in a way that is unfathomable. But, uh, unfortunately, that is just the way it goes sometimes. And okay, you may think this is a bit of a shitty start, but you know what, chat? This is actually a pretty good start. Starting with Ball Guy, Speed Lightning Energy is actually fantastic because uh, two mulligans lost it. Oh, no. We need to win the, we need to win the stadium race. We need to win the stadium race very, very quickly. We need to make sure Lost City stays away. Because Lost City take, uh, puts every KO'd Pokemon into the Lost Zone. Into the Lost Zone. Into the Lost Zone. We cannot recover Reggie's from the Lost Zone. We have no way of recovering. We, there is no way of recovering Pokemon from the last zone. Okay, so get rid of Drapion, which is a fantastic choice. Uh, Greninja. I can see Greninja coming down right about now. Excuse me, Radiant Eternity. Oh, it's a VMAX Lost Box deck. Okay, so with the Radiant Eternatus, they can put two VMAX Pokemon from their uh, from their deck to their bench straight away. No evolving necessary. If they have what I think they have, we just automatically quit out because we can't win. The metal energy is telling me, and the fight, it's Duraludin, isn't it? The second we see Duraludin come down, that's it. We just, we just quit out because uh, there's no way on earth we can take six prizes. Okay. I don't play Cancelling Cologne. I think I only play a singular Path to the Peak in this thing. It's like, yeah, there's no way on earth I'm going to be able to win this. No, I don't. I, in fact, hang on. Let me let me rephrase. I don't play Path to the Peak in this. I play Pokestop. I play Stormy Mountain. 
Put down the fucking Eternatus. Show me Jura Luden so I can quit out and actually not waste my time. Flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu is just as bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, Flying Pikachu is just as bad because that prevents all damage done by basic Pokemon. What's the Reggies? And before you say anything, chat. Okay, it was a combination of Duraludon and Flying Pikachu. I fucking bet my hand on it, and I mean my actual, literal flesh hand. Because you don't play fighting and steel type energies for the ha ha lols of it. Duraludon gets around decks that rely heavily on special energy. Flying Pikachu beats the Reggies. Simple as that. Ooh. Okay, at least my opponent's coming to take a mulligan here. That's nice. So what are we looking at? Temple of Sinnoh. Okay, well that... Okay, two copies of Temple of Sinnoh. Oh, for... No... Because I think I know exactly what it is I'm fighting. Yeah. There, you can't out-damage a Hisuian Gudra. You can't out-damage a Hisuian Gudra with uh, the Regis, unfortunately. Trust me, I've tried. I've fought that, I've fought that deck in, uh, in real life. You can't do it. You physically can't do it. I mean, you physically cannot do it with the Regis. Ah, here we go. Finally, we won one. We still don't want to go first. Game, can you just give me a match I can actually play, please? All you can do, really, is Blizzard Bind and hope they don't break it, but those sorts of decks, because it's lost, because it's a lost engine deck, uh, play an enormous amount of switching cards, so it's a case of... Mm -mm. What's that? You want to play the game? Fuck you. <laughs> That's, that is effectively what Hisui and Gudra tells you. You either play something like Mad Party that can absolutely shred through the in, innate amount of damage you can like take off, or you uh, or you get lucky somehow, and we were not going to get lucky with that. Okay, so hmm, this is an interesting this is an interesting development. Okay, we'll play the trick and choose. Okay, so we're going second. It's, we've only got the one Pokemon, so we're not going to get escape roped. And thankfully, it is a Reggie Drago. We, and if we can play down our hand enough, we can at least take advantage of Dragon's Horde. Remember, uh, once per turn, we can only activate one ability that's known as Dragon's Horde. We get to draw until we have four cards in hand. It may not sound like a lot, but sometimes that that two, one, that one, two, or maybe even three to four card draw can make all the difference in the world. Plus, we start up with Stormy Mountains. What? What? Uh, Chinchino, Raichu, Cleavor. Cleavor? Oh, that Cleavor was going to shred through us. It was a Zoroark team. It was a Zoroark box team. You got Appleton and Flapple. You've got Mighty Yenard. You got Brixian, which would have played with all four Serena. Yes, indeedy. Okay. I will admit, chat. Uh, Oinkalone e uh, Is it Oinkalone? Mousehold. Sorry. Mousehold is definitely going to need a whole bunch of Zoroa and Zoroark. Which is another Scarlet Violet deck we're going to be looking at playing. Okay, so that really was kind of not a match. So let's try and go in for another Reggie match, shall we? Oh, cool. Coin featuring the Hoenn stars of the Trico, Mudkip, and Torchic. Very cool. Okay, here we go. Okay, now this is not a good start. Just having to start off with the Registeel. Look, I love Registeel chat, don't get me wrong. But no energy in hand is kind of shit. And it's Mew. 
We've avoided this son of a bitch all night. Now, is there a way, potentially, of taking out this Mew in the first turn? Yes. Are we going to get there? No. And it's the Fusion Strike variant as well. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun on the Autobahn. They really should have printed Fusion Strike system as once during your turn, you may only use one Fusion Strike system ability. They really should have done. Okay, so let's play Trek and Choose first. Do we want the Regirock? Yes, we do. We want the Regirock. We want the Regirock, the uh, Reggie Dwayne, the Regirock Johnson. Okay, get rid of Ball Guy. Okay, so let's count them up. We've got both Drago, both Eleki, both Rock, both Ice, all three Gigas, and both Steel. Okay, so we're not exactly lacking for anything. So we'll grab Ice off of this. We'll go for the OG Trio. The OGO. Dump the O-Rod, dump the boss's orders. That's going to be a bit of a shame to do. We are going to grab a hold of Reggie Eleki here, but uh, let's have a quick look. See, so one, 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 one rod is prized. Two scoop up net are prized. Yikes, that's sucky. But all four Aurora in the deck. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Kind of, hopefully, sort of. Okay, that is not what we needed. That's not what we needed. Um, we can lucky energy here. We can fake the fact that we don't have anything else in hand and just grab a hold of Reggie Drago. Okay, we still need to locate Aurora energy and ditch them somehow. Release the sparkle, put the two fusion strike energy into play. My eyes are so are rolling so hard in the back of my head, I'm surprised I can't see my fucking skull. Escape rope. Oh, that's a bit shit. Um well we had well we got everything in the deck, so what we can do at least is red ice. Not that it, it really doesn't matter what we go into here. Uh yeah, we're just going to Red Rock. We'll go into Dwayne the Red Rock Johnson. I know it's an old joke, shut up. <laughs> okay, so three out of four Fusion Strike energies are in play. I mean, they still haven't found the VMAC, but let me guess, they're going to find it right now. There's Old Cemetery, that doesn't affect us too much. Well, Crystal gets them another basic Psychic uh, Mew. Could be a Mew. There we go, and the next Fusion Strike system allows them to draw three cards. They find the Mew VMAX. They find the Mew VMAX or a Power Tablet or a Power Tablet. Or a Power Tablet. Oh, the Switch. Okay, so they're playing the Switch. Psychic Leap. 100 damage. Okay. Scoop up net is going to be kind of the card we're looking for. Okay, capture energy does not help us. That's actually a pretty crap situation. Um, okay. So what we're going to do here is just put boss and professor's research back into the deck. Put the veggie gigas down and go professor's research. Okay, scoop up net is really quite good here. Uh, okay, we can. We'll attach to the Reggie Eleki. One and two. Energy Lotto doesn't help. Nope, it does not. I mean, we can grab a war for the next turn at least. Okay, we need to grab a hold of the Reggie Rock. We can put the Reggie Eleki up front, and we can at least chip down the Mew. we go we can chip down the mew okay so that's only going to give us a capture energy and a lightning energy in the in the thing there okay, escape rope okay let's bring out the veggie gigas let's 
they start building up the next goddamn you. Just burning that. This is where they find the new VMAX. Grammatic, get rid of the VIP. Tails, Tails is fine. Tails is good. We like to see Tails, chat. And then Psychic Leap. They're still not taking us out. Come on, let's find a god. Come on. Uh, oh god, doesn't help us. Speed Lightning for two. Professor Research, Twin Energy. Nope, doesn't help us. Okay. Well, we'll just Ancient Wisdom the energy to the Regiality here, and we'll pass the turn. It's a very slow start from both of our sides here. Very slow. Boss is in, yep, Boss's orders out the Regiality. That makes a lot of sense. They just need a power tablet or the Mu V Max to take out the Regialiki here. Power tablet Mu V Max. If not, we're gonna boss his orders out the Meloetta. There's the Mu V Max. Why did I ever fucking doubt Mew? Wait, what? Excuse me, what? Chat, am I lose I'm losing my mind. Well twin energy the Reggie Gigas. And then we just Terra Spark attacking the Mew, the Mew V Max. Do, no, 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 we do. We do, we do, we do, we do. We absolutely weaken down those three. Okay, Terra Spark, get rid of the Mew VMAX, get rid of the Mew. Chat, they misplayed so hard. They should have free retreated out into the Mew VMAX and gone for either Max Miracle or Cross Fusion Strike. Okay, well, there's a second Kramomatic that gets them any card they want out of their deck. So that this could be a boss's orders to take out Gigas. Or it'll be another Mew V Max. Chow, I'm telling you right now, they should they 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 messed up bad They messed up very badly. And at least a sparkle? Why? Why would you why would you at least a sparkle? No, you should be protecting that with your life. Don't go attacking with it. Chow, I am very confused. Okay, so there's Psychic Leap. Are they going to shuffle that thing back into the deck? They are, but they've already signed their death warrant. I'm not joking. They've already signed the death warrant. Why would... I don't even know what to say. Uh, we'll attach that to... I don't know. Reggie Gigas can take this. Okay, choose a card to discard. We'll get rid of Thornton. With an Ancient Wisdom to itself. And then we just Gigaton Break. 300 damage to the weakened Mu V Max. Take three prizes. Quick Ball's great. Capture Energy's fantastic. Cynthia's Ambition, yeah, it's not so great. Uh, yeah, this is a big GG. Like, no joke, this is actually a. Uh, well, even then, Mu V Max still goes down to Gigaton Break at this point. I 
mean, hell, if we can somehow... I mean, I'm not going to lie. If we can somehow find Scoop Up Net off of the boss... Oh, off, oh that's right. We have, oh, but that... Okay, if they keep this thing in the active, which they shouldn't. They should not keep Mew VMAX in the active. They should either go out into Meloetta. In fact, they should just go out into Meloetta here. Boss's orders out the Reg Ice. Okay. That's the worst possible play you could have made. Unless you're going to withdraw into the Meloetta right now. Fusion Strike 1 for 3 cards. Chat, they just threw the game. Oh, no, they have not. Glistening Droplets. What a play. They're going to take out the Veggie Gigas with 1 and then we can out the Veggie... Okay. Okay, maybe they're not as silly as I thought they were. Maybe they're not as silly as I thought they were. I will give them that. But that being said... Choose a card to discard, capture energy or do. That being said, chat. Okay, that being said, we can still absolutely win if we got... How many scoop up net have we played? One. There's two, there's two left in the deck. Okay, uh, I'm just going to double confirm that by getting rid of the professor's research. Thank you very much. Okay, there's one scoop up net and there's one switch. Okay, so there's two outs. There's two outs to this, okay? So, play the Bruno. If we find the switch, or... scoop, we found both. Let's play the golden switch, chat. Let's play the golden switch. Ancient Wisdom, one, twin, capture, gold capture, to the active bridge of Gigas. Gigaton break 280, absolutely wrecks this thing. And in fact, we're going to take the absolute piss and just attach the choice belt as well. There it is. Yeah, two big misplays on my opponent's part really, really sealed the deal there. Hey, we got ourselves a free Astral Radiance pack. But yeah, a couple of major, major misplays really did seal the deal there for my opponent. Okay, we're going to do one more. We'll do one more with uh, the Reggies, and then we're going to finish off the night with our annoying Araquanid deck. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we won the coin flip. Do we want to go first or second? We want to go second. With the Reggies, we always want to go second. We want to try and draw as many cards as possible. Oh, if only that we'd have been able to keep that. But okay, I think my opponent can glean what I'm playing from that particular start. Ooh. Okay, so they are playing something very defensive, or at least mildly defensive. Okay, we're only going to keep the Reggie Drago in the active. Only the Reggie Drago in the active. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, what are we starting? Galarian Zephyrus. That, that doesn't tell me anything other than they got a free retreat Pokemon. Uh, Scoop Up Ned. Quick ball. Okay. We are going to be able to play our hands down quite nicely here. Because we'll put the Reggie Eliki. Oh, it's Hisui and Arcanine. Okay, at least we can stop that thing from attacking. We can stop that thing from attacking thanks to Regice. Okay, Gutsy Pickaxe. If the top card is Professor's Research. Just add to hand, ready for the next turn. Great card in Play Doll. Okay. Ooh. Now that's a hell of a that's a hell of an opening. We can even go into the Regirock here and preserve the Reg Ice for later. Okay, so put down the Regieliki, put down the Reg Ice, put down the Regirock. Get rid of Aurora energy there. Dragon's Horde for two cards. Come on, let them be good. Oh my god. That is utterly abysmal. Okay, we got. Okay, so we have. 
one steel and one gigas prized. That is not good, chat. That is not good. Okay, so my opponent. We know my opponent has a. Uh, right, we know my opponent has a professor's research. It's not a boss's orders, which is nice. Uh, do they grab another Galarian Zapdos here? Is a good pecking question. No, they just grabbed the Orangaroo. Oh, Orangaroo. Do they preserve anything before? Yes, they do. Whatever they're preserving here is obviously very important to them. Then they play the Professor's Research. Yep, there it is. We saw them get that last turn. So they get rid of Switch Cart. Energy Retreat. Keep the toughness on the pursuit. Okay, so that's... Wow. That thing is looking fucking bulky as all hell. As I said, we're just gonna have to keep we're just gonna have to chip away at this thing. And there is So I'm thinking we quit now. We needed a big draw support off of that dragon's horde. I am not wasting time sitting through that shit. We also needed to not draw pal pad and two copies of ordinary rod. I mean, double aurora to start off with is nice, but uh, could have done with a bit more than that. Maybe something to disrupt their hand, like Marnie. Oh well. So my opponent's going first. That's very nice of them. And this is what you call an opening hand. This is what you call an opening hand, chat. We get to play the Stormy Mountains, thin out the Reggie Eloki, then we get to play the Reggie Gigas, then we get to play the Trekking Shoes, play the Aurora Energy to the active Reggie Jago, getting rid of the other one. It, it, this is what you call like one of the most optimal Reggie hands imaginable. Like no joke, this is this is phenomenal. This is fantastic. I love it. Because what you because you can play your hand down right down to Professor's Research, then you can do uh, Dragon's Horde, then you can Professor's Research what you don't need, and then you can continue playing. It's fantastic. Okay, Zacian V. This is an Intrepid Sword deck. Okay, cool artwork featuring Hop and Zacian. Okay, so no energy acceleration off of that Intrepid Sword. Okay, the fact that Professor's was Oh no, uh, we can actually... No, it's still the same amount of cards. Shit. Okay, so here we go. We're going to thin out the deck. So we got both Drago, both Alaki. That's what we like to see. Uh, all three Gigas, all three... Uh, sorry, both Steel. One Reg Ice, one Regirock apprised. Okay, so now we know what we need to grab a hold of with uh, Quick Ball. Ordinary Rod. Um, no. Reggie Drago, that's upsetting. Okay, well, we need to get rid of the other one. And there we go, just Professor's Research here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to play down our hand enough. If we can find an energy here, and we do. Three Aurora energy. You cannot complain for that being the first turn. Uh, okay, so we can... Ultra Ball away the Choice Belt. And the scoop up net for Reggie Rock. There we go. And now we can Ultra Ball away the Professor's Research and the Aurora Energy for Registeel, the Captain Steel Registeel. Now we get to Dragon's Horde for four brand spanking new cards. Let's see what's in the prizes. Yeah, both. Both Regirock and Reg Ice. We're going to get them out of the prizes because you'd rather have them in the discard so you can ordinary rod them back in. And then we're just going to Ancient Wisdom, the other two Aurora, to the active Reg Drago. And Giant Fangs, the active Galarian Meowth. Now that chat is how you play a Reggie first turn. Like, no kidding, that is genuinely, like, the the absolute optimal first turn for a Reggie deck you could ever imagine. So much so, my opponent, unfortunately, has to quit out. 
Gotta love it. It's nice when it works. Okie dokie then. Right then, the last deck of the night. Okay, the last deck of the night is going to be... Where are you? It's going to be our super annoying coin flip Araquanid deck. However, let me be very clear. If we're if this deck is all about coin flips, okay, if this deck is all about coin flips, then we need to play one specific card in particular. It is the very good it's the very in fact, uh well we need to upgrade our ultra ball count. I was huh, I actually thought we could play Pokeball in here. Yeah, you know what, let's Let's actually play Pokeball. No, no, not Ball Guy. There we go. We can play four copies of Pokeball. As I say, if we're playing a load of coin flip cards, we might as well just go absolutely ham on the thing. Uh, is there anything we can do to cut? Nope. Yeah, no, uh, as I say, I think that's pretty much it. Unless we want to cut one in. Yeah, no, we don't. Um, as I said, if we are, if, here's the thing. Okay, if we're being absolute meme lords with the with this coin flip deck, we might as well just go the entire hog. We might just go the entire way through and use Pokeball at the same time. Okay, and the music we're going to be listening to. You know what deck? Uh, yes, you know what deck? You know what chat? Considering the way we're about to play, considering the absolutely oppressive way we're about to play this deck, let's listen to the Team Plasma battle theme from Pokemon Black and White Two. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Right, let's let's go. Yeah, this is the Plasma Battle team. Love it. As I said, if we if we are going for a complete coin flip based deck, we might as well just go the whole hog and go for Pokeball. Is it as consistent as like a level ball or something? Heck no. Is it fun? Oh heck yes. Okay, do we want to go first with this deck? Oh yes, we do. Okay, so we're starting with a lone waltz. I'll be honest, chat, that's not a good start. Okay. I really hope we can uh I really hope we can retreat before uh Yeah, prevent all of effects for Pokemon's abilities. Right, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm the trash man. I'm the trash man. No, no, we'll do Rotom. We'll do Rotom tomorrow. As I say, I want to kind of make the end of this week a big hurrah for Pokemon uh, for PTCGO, considering the service is, uh, you know, it's not being updated. It's not being updated past this point, so it's just a case of, uh, yeah, I kind of want to make this the last big hoorah. Okay, so that's Ultra Ball. That's going to get them... Bebowl? I want to say Bebowl. They're going to set up for the next turn. But, yep, it, they certainly are. So, ideally, chat, we could really do with... Yeah, chat, we could really, really do with a, uh, a judge here. But we only run two in the deck. Ideally, we could also go into something else other than this goddamn vault, <laughs> because we need to evolve. We need to evolve it up into Curlia, and I don't want Curlia up in the active spot because it's not even bulky enough to take a, twi a, a double turbo energy blossom tail. Okay. Down comes Mimikyu, dummy doll activates. It's in, it is now invincible for the next turn. 
It's only for the next turn, but it is invincible. Oh, that's just great. Okay, we need to put... No, we need to put... We need to play the Bruno. We need four brand new cards. Come on, give me something I can... Okay, this could actually work out in my favor, potentially. Come on, Pokeball. Shit. Okay, fine. We, we'll refinement away the Ordinary Rod. Okay, Zoro was kind of neat, but that's about it. Okay, so we need to hope that Curlia survives. Of course not. Oh! <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. God, that was a that was a really terrible start. Genuinely a really terrible start. Come on, we play enough basics to not start like that. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? We really needed something other than a new reader. Okay, so we won the coin flip. Do we want to go first? Yes, we do. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like it, chat. We start with a Radiant Jirachi. We start with a Ralt on the bench. Okay, we then attach an energy to the Jirachi to make it look like a threat. And then we poke a ball for, for a... For any... For, well, for any stage two, maybe? It depends what we get off the top deck, I suppose. Let's have a look-see. Raikou. Oh, we're going to start setting up the Jirachi. We're going to Pokeball. Come on. Yes, baby. Yeah, baby. This is what we like to see. Uh, okay, something I can get rid of immediately. Slowbro. Oh, there's only one Curlier in the deck. Oh, dear. Okay. Now, I highly... Now, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, they could get rid... Okay, so here's, here's what they need to do. They need to quick ball or ultra ball away a water energy and have a melanie in hand. Oh, I see. I see where this deck is going. However, we do have the cheese to beat this. We have the Chez. I hope. We do need to thin the deck out with Verida, though. Okay, so that's not a Melanie. They can't attack in the first turn. Thank you, heavens for the... Really, 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 okay. That is an unfortunate find. That is an actual unfortunate find, but okay. We need to thin the deck down with Irida, so we're going to grab a hold of the Tider. We're going to grab a hold of potentially. Yeah, grab a hold of Pokeball here. Okay, we can now with uh, play the Pokeball. That's unfortunate. Okay, we need to entrust in entrusted wishes here. Okay, we can refinement away the slow bro for two cards. Bruno O Rod, okay. Doesn't really help us. Okay, here we, here we go. Astral Misfortune. One tails, two tails. Four tails in a row, chat. Com the fucking combined tails of, you know, everything we just saw. Are you actually kidding me? That is unfair. That's actually legitimately unfair. Okay, so we see Lightning Rondo take out Radiant uh, Jirachi there. So what do we grab a hold of here? Well, considering there is a VMAX in play, we could get rid of the Mighty Anna. We are going to grab the Arachnid. We got the Bruno in hand, so we are going to grab a hold of... Of a water energy for the Depida. Slash Araquanid.
Okay, here we go. We need to start. We need to start hoping that our luck is okay today. We attach them to the Araquanid. We refinement away the Mightyena. That does not help us out much. Now we could put back the Jirachi and the Water Energy, which actually I'm going to do. Just Jirachi and only the Water Energy. There we go. Now we can play the Bruno for seven brand new cards. Play the Pokeball. Come on, come on. Heads. Hey, there we go. We can grab this all over here. Okay, and as a precautionary measure, we'll also put down the Manaphy. Put down the Radiant J Rach. Okay, here we go. Drowning Ball. Heads. Perfect. No, we don't need to flip again. We only get rid of the electrical energies now. Okay, that's the only thing we get rid of. We only get rid of electrical energy. Okay. The game begins. I think. I hope. I pray. So, it'll depend on how many switch, how many escape rope, how many... Uh, how many electric energy they play. Switch, switch, cart, escape rope. Okay. So that's a little bit of good luck right there. Again, I'm going to start setting up the J Rach just in case. I'm not. Hmm. Do I play Professor's Research here? No. No, I don't. Instead, we're just going to Drowning Ball again. Tails. Uh, do you want to flip? Yes, please. Oh, double tails. Fuck me. Why? They're going to have an electrical energy in hand. I fucking hate this game. I hate this game. Sometimes. I really do. Okay, bring up the J-Rach. Uh, Pal Pad does not help. In fact, it kind of does. Uh, put back the Bruno and the Vida. Play the Professor's Research. Oh, that sucks, Major Dong. No energy? Okay. Uh, play the Ultra Ball. Get rid of Boss and Depider. We can thin the deck down quite a bit here. Here we go. Acidic Mucus. Refinement away the Flapple. Yeah, that doesn't fucking help. Thanks. Thanks, game. Okay, the only thing we can do, the only thing we can do here is attack with Mighty Anna. That's precisely what we're going to do. Okay, and then utilizing Ordinary Rod. I did that in the wrong order, admittedly. Put back the Zora Zorark. Put back the One Energy. I should have waited until I retreated the Jirachi, but I was kind of narrow-minded. Okay, we're back in the game at least. Curlia does not help us. Araquanid could help us. Of course they do. Okay, so what's the what's the big play? Try and find a basic water energy. I think but finding a basic water energy here is going to have to be the play that we need to do. But either way, we're going to promote Zoroark. 
Ultra Ball. Okay, evolve the Zoro. Hmm. I could play the Silene here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play the Silene. Tails, head. Duh, okay. That kind of blows. How many power pads? Okay, we've still got our second power pad in the deck. So what we can do is at least put the water energy back on top of the deck. We can refinement away the curlier. Oh, that's very useful. Thank you very much. All right, wait. Do this in the correct order. You know what we could do? We could phantom transformation into the curlier. Refinement away the Ultra Ball. <laughs> then we can Phantom Transformation into the Araquanid. Catch. Ultra Ball away Araquanid. Air Balloon. Friends in history. Grab the other Zorua. Okay, here we go. Drowning Ball. Sweat. Head. Yep, we don't need to do anything else. And the only energy we get rid of now is Lightning. That's it. That's what we do. There's three VMAXs in play. So if we could somehow find another twin energy and get double heads, we... Do they have an energy in hand? They do, don't they? Or they're going to draw for it. And... There it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. game sometimes okay so bring out the curlier come on we need something we can get rid of here yeah that'll that'll do Yeah, that, that works. Okay, Phantom Transformation into Araquanid again. Okay, attach to the Curlia. Judge. Put down another divider. Okay, here we go. Araquanid. Drowning Ball. We got very fucking lucky there. Again, get rid of the electric energy. So how many is that now? Too basic, too special. Come on. You can't have any... Uh, and don't forget all the basic... What? He's going to have a switching card, isn't he? Sorry, isn't, isn't she? Isn't she? Sorry, I didn't see the avatar. I know that sounds stupid, but I didn't. Melanie. Draws three more. Choice belt doesn't do them any favors. Whew. Okay. Catch the Curlier. Play the Judge again. Come on, Glimwood, please. Fuck. Okay, but at least there's Power Pad. Okay. And with Power Pad, we can put Silene back into the deck and Boss's Orders. Refinement away Ultra Ball. Don't want to hold anything. Don't want to get rid of anything just yet. Okay, here we go. Drowning Ball. Come on, we need this paralysis. 
I can't believe how lucky we've been getting. And this is without Glimwood Tangle. That's the other major thing. How many are... Okay, just the one. Where's the rest of them? Seriously, chat. Where on earth are the rest of my Glimwoods? Luminian? Uh-oh. Luminian could be a problem here. Chat, we need to get... Why me? <sighs> I swear to God, I've only played one Glimwood this whole game. The last card in my fucking hand, in my, sorry, in my deck, is Glimwood Tangle. That's not fair. That's actually not fair. I should have seen, I should have asked to see how many uh, switches they played. How many tails was that, chat? Seriously. Because that genuinely did not feel fair with how many tails I was flipping. Oh, no. Is this one of those fucking Lost Box decks? If I see Comfy come down, I'm just going to quit out. Time to quit. They play too much Switch. I've got no way of shutting down their ability. There's no way I can win. Just move on and let's go. Lost Box. I know I play it myself with Reggie Gigas, but at the same time, in Lost Box. Why could you not have gotten more of these in the last goddamn games we played? I hate this game sometimes, I really do. Hmm. Okay. Okay, nearly 11 o'clock, so I uh, can only go for 45, 45 minutes, about 45 minutes. Okay, so we're starting with the Northern Guru, it doesn't tell us jack shit about what deck they're playing. The thing is, chat, you can never always rely on their deck box or whatever. Sometimes people will play deck, deck boxes and sleeves because they look cool. I mean, there's no way on earth I've got a Crimson Invasion card in this deck. Okay, okay, so quick ball away, quick ball for a. Thumbs into V. Okay, that doesn't really matter to us. Do 
just a manual attachment and pass it to them probably maybe hopefully oh no they still got access to primate wisdom they need to uh, protect their hand from whatever Wisdom. Do they have a continuation of the turn? Kinda. I mean, Cape of Toughness does okay, but uh, at the same time, we can we are still going to try and par paralyze the thing. Now, I'd like Pokeball to work here, please. Ralt is good. Pokeball. Hey, that's what we love to see. Uh, okay, what we can do here is we can absolutely grab a hold of something we can discard straight away. So if we go Acidic Mucus. <laughs> we'll get rid of the Air Balloon and the Flapple. Grab a hold of a Varquinid. Sorry, of Depida. Sorry, Depida, Depida. We could also grab J Rach. Retreat the thing manually. Nah, we'll go for Depida. We'll go for Depida. Go Depida. Put the wash energy on. Play the Bruno. Okay, not exactly helpful. Well, I, no, 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 I say, well, hmm. it's kind of difficult to say, really. But with the reader, we can grab a hold of, hmm, the question, what the hell do we get? Could depend on the top deck, really. Manual attach. Double Glimwood. So, here we go. Here's what we're going to grab. We'll grab the Slowbro, and we are going to grab the Ultra Ball, so we can go ahead and use Curlier. So, dump Slowbro, dump Mighty Enna. Grab Curlier. Play down one Glimwood. I see. Put out another Depider and wait out a turn. Ideally, chat, I would prefer to not blow the Twin Energy, but uh, we may not get a choice here. And if we don't get a choice, what are we putting it onto? Curlier. We put it onto Curlier. Okay, Rotom Phone. That will allow them to sort the uh, top the top card of their deck out of the five, so Primate Wisdom gets them what they need, so this could be a big draw support right here. I would not be surprised if this is something like a uh, Professor's Research. Or a Switch. Or the final card could be Professor's Research. Or Marnie. Nope, they just go for the Assault Tackle. Okie dokie. Bit of a shame. Top deck of Radiant Jirachi here would be quite nice. Okay, here we go. Play down to the Pider. You know what? Bruno is fantastic. Because that means we can keep a hold of the Professor's Research and the Twin Energy. Hmm. Okay. Let's refinement away the other Curlier. Well, that's a bit crap. Uh, okay, we need to unfortunately sacrifice a... Sacrifice a twin. Sacrifice a Zoroark. Grab a hold of a rock we need. Put 
with the basic on the divider just in case and here we go drowning ball okay we don't need to do anything else here cool okay so we've got the paralysis going we've got to we've managed to discard an energy we just need to hope that they don't find a switch don't find an air balloon uh and whatever and then we can play our friends of hisui in the next turn and hopefully we can get something we can discard like mighty yen or something uh yen well i say mighty i said or something wisdom the thing is they shouldn't try make wisdom every single turn because otherwise they're just going to keep cycling through the same two cards. Okay, Marnie is unfortunate to see. Because that could get them out of this. But it's not a Pokemon Center Lady. It's not a full heal. It's not a switch. So fingers crossed. Crystal Cave sucks dong. Okay, we can at least put the full face guard on to... We can at least put the full face guard on to... A rock we need here so it can survive a assault tackle just okay there's intrepid sword only accelerates the one which is fine radiant j branch actually coming in clutch okay play the silene yeah play the silene tails heads okay we can put the glimwood back into play now Again, we need to sacrifice a Zoroark. It sucks dong, but we need to do it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Put, play the Jirach. Glimwood back in play. Play the Palpad. Put back the Bruno and the Silene. Okay, and here we go. Drowning Ball again. Heads. Perfect. We don't need to do anything else. What we do now is just keep like whittling away at the Zamazenta and trying to get rid of all this energy if we can. We play the slow game. I hope. Manually attach. Okay, so they can. I'm always afraid that they're just going to pull a switch out there, but there's another crystal cave, unfortunately. But we should still have a couple of uh, Glimwoods in the deck still. And I mean, if worst comes to the worst, we just rely on our own crap luck. Okay, they said there's a Zoroa. Fine. Now we can Professor's Research here. Go. We can ordinary rod. We can put Z Zoroark and Zoroark. Yeah, put both Zoroarks back into the deck. Play the Pokeball heads. Okay, I need to actually have a look see at something. How many Glimwoods are in the? Okay, so two, two in the deck. We can absolutely, uh, absolutely pull a Zoroark out. Okay, we can refinement here. We get rid of friends in Hisui. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, we need to rely on our crap luck here. Here we go. Drowning ball. Okay, what the hell is going on? Why couldn't we have got this earlier? Chat, seriously, why could we not have gotten this earlier? That this in this in this stage of the game it is not about healing off the damage it is just about surviving and whittling through my opponent's resources There's another Intrepid Sword. Do they get to build up the Zacian this time? They certainly are building up 
Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Hey, Glimwood, Tangle off the top. Thank you very much. Play the Zoroark. We are going to play the Air Balloon on the Curlia, and then we're just going to play the Judge. Coup. How many? Okay, so that's uh, only 200. God damn it. Okay, we can we can absolutely refinement away one Arachnid for this. Drowning ball. Heads. Yep, don't need to do anything else. Now, without a switch, can't retreat. Well, they couldn't retreat anyway, but even if they played, like, a full heal for whatever fucking reason, they can't retreat unless they manually attach. Could do with finding boss's orders. How many have we, have we lost? None. Okay, so potentially both are still in the deck. There's a third crystal cave. Okay, there's one more Glimwood in the deck. But that should be... Okay, so that's their third Crystal Cave. I highly doubt they play more than... I highly doubt they play more than three. And there's a boss. Okay, let's see what we get off of Refinement. If we get... Of course we don't. Okay. I need to find that Glenwood. Yeah, I need to find that Glenwood. So we're going to set up a third... Um, set up the third of Arquanid here. How many basic energies are in the discard? Okay, none. So... both put back the Zoroark put back the Zorua put back the one basic energy there we go there's Glimwood drowning ball okay okay now next turn we play the Silene get back whatever we want on the top deck hopefully and then power pad because, uh, yeah, that's going to be... Okay. So we need to put Palpad back and then put Palpad and then use Palpad to get Silene back. It's basically the Silene loop. Shit. Okay, but for the longest time, we managed to, like, dwindle my opponent's resources. That's fine. Okay, so, play the Silene. Tail. T fuck off, game. Put back the Silene. Put back the Judge. Refinement the Vaults. Judge no rod. Okay. Well, retreat the Araquanid. Drowning Ball. I was about to say, that's not four tails in a row, surely. We need at least one tails off of this Silene. When we find Silene next, we need one, uh, we definitely need one heads to get back a pal pad. Otherwise, we just lose.
go for the just keep doing drowning ball at this point okay here we go come on come on come on yes don't need to flip it again again we are slowly running them out of resources that is nine metal energy now that we've seen Did I put back a boss's orders? Okay, so they've got at least one card accelerated to the other Zacian. They don't have three, surely. If I put back a boss's orders, this would be a hell of a time to draw it. I think I need to play the judge here. There's Silene for the next turn. Twin energy for when we want to. It... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Don't need to do anything again. Okay. Okay. This is a very long game chat, admittedly. Okay. Oh, that's what I was afraid of seeing. That's what I was afraid of seeing. Okay. Here we go. Silene time. Yes. Okay. Pal pad. Has to be pal pad. Refinement away the Zoroark. Grab back the pal pad. Yep. Now we pal pad the boss and the Silene back. Drown and ball. Heads don't need to do anything else. How many basics energy? Um, none. Oh boy. God. Damn it, how many? Okay, that's three switch now. They can't have any more, surely. Bitch. <sighs> I was just about to say, don't do that to me. That's 12 basic metal energy. They can't have much more now.
tool scrapper, fine. A little unfortunate, but fine. Oh, you can fuck right off. Put back the Silene. Put back the boss is still in the deck. Okay, fine. It's got to be the judge. Come on, don't do that to me. Why me? Why me? I just have to hope that it... Oh, no, they can just manually retreat. Are they going to do that? Are they really going to risk that? Research. Wait, was that an escape robe? No, it was not. Okay, switch. That's all for switch, though. Fine. You know what? And there's another crystal cave. Fuck you. Transform into a Rathnid. Play the Silene. Come on. For fuck's sake! We now can't win. Three tails in a row. Fuck off, game. That is not fucking fair. That's genuinely not fucking fair. Why do I keep getting so unlucky with all these goddamn coin flips? I am trying to remain calm. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am trying to remain calm. It's... Okay, Delph Fox. Okay. Four switch. Four crystal cave fucking that guy can seriously fuck off. Seriously. Play the arena. Grab the slow bro, grab the ultra ball. Grab Radiant Jirachi. Might as well give this a try. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Seriously? Watch Energy Zoroark is fucking phenomenal. Why on earth did, was my... Why was my life wasted in that last game? With all those tail coin flips. And then that shit happens. I am actually really pissed. Okay. Psychic Metal. That says to me Metagross. Less of that, please. 
Okay, so we are allowed to go first. That's frightening. Okay, we can probably dump both of our Aquanid here, depending on what the top deck is. Interesting. I'm going to hold the hand. I'm just going to hold a hand. We're going to see what we get. Oh, no. It's fucking Lost Box, isn't it? Capture Energy. If we see a Comfy come down, I'm not even going to bother. We can't beat that. They play too much Switch. They do. They play too much Switch. They've got Switch. They've got Bird Keeper, Scoop Up Net, Escape Rope, etc, etc. Our fucking lock doesn't work against Lost Box. And what a start. And by that I mean we get no fucking start at all. Thank you, game. Very appreciated. Look, if I have a mulligan, just... Huh. Hmm. Huh. I'll be frank. I don't know what to do with this hand. I've got a good idea of what I want to do. But we'll have to see. It's the Reggies. And we do not play. Okay, they do have plenty of switch and they can do 40 to the bench. Okay, I'm on. Okay. Say goodbye to Wabakunid, say goodbye to Mighty Yenna. Because Mighty Yenna is kind of useless here. Just go for the vaults. Pass the turn. Hopefully with the Pokeball hitting your heads in the next turn, we can... It depends what they get. Getting rid of a, ne of getting rid of a Veggie is nice. But this could be one of those goofy builds with 2 Gigas, 3 Alaki. Judging by the uh, Electromagnetic Sonar. Path to the P, doesn't matter to us. Choice about to be active again doesn't matter. They're gonna hit me for forty. There's Marnie. That's good and bad. If we can hit a couple of cards off of the next four cards of the deck, we could be okay. Could be being the key word. Dungeons of Steel. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Static Shock for 40. Okay. That is not what we needed to see. So now we've got even less chance. But holy hell, we actually managed to hit the damn thing. Tell me surprised. Friends in Hisui came through. We're still not going to win this. Unfortunately. We, we needed that Curlier. We needed that Curlier. Plus, plus, take it from a guy who knows the Reggies play an inordinate amount of Switch. They've got at least three to, three to four scoop up net, but they... Didn't have a turn. 
I would like to play the judge, but I don't know. I, their hand apparently was kind of weak, so I don't want to give them a new one. Hail, come on. Twenty-five percent chance, chat every single time. So they need a, they need a couple of electrical energy in with this card. That's fine. We've got the Reggie Drago. I could see. Do they have a way of getting Reggie Alaki out of the active? Put down the Eliki again. Dragon's Horde for two. Draw support. Okay, Speed Lightning draw support. You know, six and two threes. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, put down the Glimwood. Put down the Depider. Play, started, play Judge at this point. I can't be bothered. Depider, Irida. Oh, pfft. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the Ultra Ball for a turn. And then we're just going to Drown in Ball. Three tails in a row. Three in a row. Chat. Three. Aurora Energy gets rid of another Choice Belt. Not identifying that it's kind of useless in this matchup. Dragon Horde for one. Ball gets them another Reggie. Get rid of an ordinary VOD though, that's at least something. Reggie Rock. Okay. That's fine. The Drowning ball. No, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake! How many double tails is that, chat? Seriously, how many? Terrace Bark. Yep. What are they hitting? They shouldn't hit the Zoroa. Wish I played a Manaphy in this goddamn deck now. Okay, so they hit the Tapida and they hit the Zoroa. Can't blame them. Now, they are still missing the Red Regigigas here. Okay. So play the Arita. Oh, I do play Manaphy. Oh, that's... Fucking magic. Um, well, we need to grab a Rachmanid. And, you know what? We'll take the risk with Pokeball. I think we should just take the risk with Pokeball here. Why me, chat? Why me? That is four tails in a row. If they get Gigas here, I'm going to be fucking so angry. In those three cards, could be Twin Energy, Escape Rope, Sari...
I'm waiting for the gigas to come down because then we just lose. Ordinary rod to put back both Reggie out of key. Fine. But that's not the card I'm waiting for. To show Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, whatever. Come on. Just stop wasting my time. Path to the Peak sucks, dick. Okay. So we get another turn at least. What a top deck. And even more what a top deck. <sighs> Fucking why me? Put back one to Pida, one Arachnid. Both basic water. Okay, here we go again. Drowning ball, please. Finally. Jesus Christ. Four heads in a row, and it. Uh. We're just lucky that they've not found the Gigas yet. Let's be completely real. This is going to find them Gigas, it's going to find them the Knockout. Alright. I mean, close enough. That should, that finds them the gig. Yep, scoop them at the active Reggie Drago into the Reggie Alaki. Put the Drago down, put the Reggie Gigas down. Attack with Reggie Alaki. I'm sorry. What? Because that's useful. Thank you very much, game. I refuse to believe that they I think they're taking the piss I genuinely believe they are now taking the piss I refuse to believe that you have not found Reggie Gigas or a way of getting Reggie Gigas at all. There it is. Zoro is Kupida. Oh, 
I'm just glad all the damage gets healed. Okay, so let's see. They've used three scoop up net, but they've used no switch, no bird keeper, no escape rope. I think just all those tails fucked us. I'd be very surprised if we. Yeah. There's the fourth and final. I am not ending this stream on a loss. I'm going to keep grinding this fucking deck until we win one. Because there are so many times, chat, we should have won. There are, there are genuinely so many times we should have won. <sighs> Do we want to go first? Yes, please. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Okay. And it's a Lugia V. Yay. Oh, in fact, it doesn't even fucking matter. No. Nope. Because we paralyze, because here's the thing, we paralyze it, it evolves. Oh, what's the fucking point? What is the fucking point? I am not fighting Mew VMAX. I'm starting to really lose my temper at this. Hopefully with all these quits and losses and stuff, it's brought my score down so low we can play against a beginner. Or a really terrible bot. That would also be quite nice. Okay, not the worst start in the world, but we sure as hell need something a little bit better. Fuck's sake. No. It's late enough, I can't be fucked playing Mew VMAX. Come on already. Game, do you maybe not see me quit fucking instant turning off against... Mu V Max and not think in your stupid algorithmic mind. Hmm, maybe there's a fucking pattern here. Okay, not a terrible start. We could sacrifice, in fact, yeah, we could genuinely sacrifice the full. Yeah, we could sacrifice the Iraquanid and the Palpat here. Grab a hold of the Ralts. Oh, 
Oh, we didn't get an energy. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, we need to grab an Araquanid, and we need to grab a hold of a Pokeball. Hopefully, this Pokeball actually lands a hits for once. Okay, play the Glimwood, play the Pokeball, come on, come on. Oh, we're worth a try. Okay, Pokeball, go. Oh, sorry. Drowning Ball, go. Three tails in a row. Three tails in a row. Why? Yeah, we're just going to try and run them out of water energy to begin with. Okay, we're going to Ultra Ball away the Manaphy and the Zoroark. We're going to grab a hold of Curlia here and start drawing some goddamn cards with Refinement. Again, getting rid of basic energy is not what I really want to get rid of here. Okay, just we got Drowning Ball, please. So what exactly are they going to grab the Luminion here? Well, they can't attack. Okay, refinement away another water energy. I'm not going to do anything with this hand right now. Drowning Ball again. Come on, please. Thank you very much. <sighs> Mamma mia. Thanks to Iskin, that gives draw four cards. Doing good for uh, VMAX. Sorry, V Star. V Star. That's the V Star. He's doing good for V Star, but they can't attack. The minion comes down. Now they now this sets them up for the next turn. What are they grabbing? Pop for three more cards. Oh, okay, so they can just keep on. Huh, that's actually not bad. They can like tank a bunch of hits with Gudra V Star and then go into Berserker with a giant hand. We are going to refinement away the Ralt to begin with. Play Pokeball. Finally, god damn it. We'll grab a hold of Slowbro. Play the Arena to get a hold of Dupida Air Balloon. Use the Ultra Ball on the Slow Bro and one basic energy here to get a hold of Zoroark. Put the Depide down. Drowning Ball. We don't need to flip that again. Get rid of the water energy. Now, yeah, they are going to be able to Moisture Star. Don't get me wrong. They can heal all of the damage when we get to 260. However, hopefully by that time, we would have run them down a whole bunch of their resources. Okay, 
Okay, so the switch. Okay. Uh, this is obviously what's in the bit. Okay, so we can go into Arachnid here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a transformation into the other Arachnid. Air Balloon the Curlier. Attack for the Arachnid. And just Professor's Research. Cool. Put down another Zora. Put down the Radiant of Archie, because worst comes to worst, we'll just try and swing with that. Refinement away the Curlier. Cool. And then Drowning Ball. Nope. Why double tails again? Why? But yeah, getting rid of all the water energy is definitely the way to go. Okay, so there's a reader. Get some more water Pokemon and an item card. So the item card will probably be Air Balloon. No, it might fucking work. And then, uh, Curum V. Okay. Practice to the Galarian Perserker. Okay, so how... Okay, so both Power Powder in the discard. Come on, please. One head. Yes. Yes! Thank you, God. We'll put back both Power Pad. We can't... We don't want to be running out of those things. Thank you very much. Uh, put the Twin Energy down on the Radiant J-Barch. Drowning Ball. Uh, can we strand this Luminion? Doesn't even need to. Sweet. God damn, that took way longer than it should have done. That genuinely took way longer than it should have done. And that's it. That's annoying. The fact that we are so close to unlocking this rare chest. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to unlock this rare chest. We're going to play the Reggies. I swear to God, I just spent an hour trying to grind out one good victory with uh, with the Raquinid there. Oh, my aching face! Okay, we won the coin flip. Do we want to go second? No, we don't. Not that's a pretty decent heck in hand. Uh, we're not okay. We are not going to put another Reggie into play. They can't play a support on their first turns. So we can't get judged, Marnie, etc. Uh, two mulligans. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I see what they're playing. They're playing a big bad Mel Metal tank deck. Okay, so we're gonna have to take out the Altarias as fast as heck impossibly. I see. Uh, yeah, we'll take two mulligans. Poker sub eligible. Okay. Oh, it's Berserker. It's Berserker? What? Why would... Didn't... What? 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 I'm very confused. I will... I, I'll be completely honest here. I'm quite confused. Berserker with Pokemon Center Lady Cook. V-Guard Energy. Okay, well, that was a good top deck. Okay, come on, Energy Lotto. Fuck. Okay, uh, let's play Heavy Ball and see what we got in... Okay, the, only the Reggie Elaki, that's fine. Oh, but we've got twin doubles. Oh, wow. That is an unfortunate, but no Aurora. No, no Aurora is actually a really good sign. Okay, we'll play the Pokestop first. Trick and Choose Overwatch. Okay. Play Trick and Choose first, Power Pad. Yeah, we'll add that to hand. We are going to add that to hand, because what we can do here is we can play the Quick Ball, play the Bruno. Uh, we can grab a hold of... I don't know. No, no, no. I, we need to grab a hold of Red Rock here. Play the Power Pad for the Bruno and the Marnie. Okay, I didn't know we had Marnie in there. To play Professor's Research. There's the Gigas. No energy. The no energy bit sucks Major Dong, not in a fun way.
what's our best bet? Blizzard Bind. I would, I genuinely would think that Blizzard Bind could be our best bet here because we can shut down Berserker from attacking. Two hundred and fifty. That's fine. There was Sonia. Bomb to poke stop for uh, training court. That's fine. Feeling fine. Okay, so they see I'm kind of stranded here. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, I am not risking that at all. Uh, or, no, 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 no. We're going to play the Bruno. We're playing the Bruno. We are not risking that at all. Oh, my fucking God. Come on. It's the second turn. We have no energy in the discard. I am super annoyed. Zero energy. Now they're going to start taking KOs left, right, and center, all because our draws were shit. Okay, we should be able to get back into this now. We should be able to get back into this now. At least one Aurora energy is going to be hitting the discard. Okay. We should have been winning by now. We should have been. Just need one energy here. Of course. Because why not? Because why not? Do I even have any music playing? No, I don't. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, chat. 
I'm so sorry, chat. I forgot to set up the second bit of music. Thank you, game. Can I play it now? You can't believe how angry I genuinely am that the deck performed that badly. You genuinely cannot believe it. The fact that we were not swinging by turn 2 or turn 3... <sighs> hurts. We had no capture. Okay, we didn't even have the worst energy in the deck. terrible start. We can at least make this work somewhat. Red of Rock is going to be great here.
Prepare to capture. Okay, so we've got both Eliki, one Drago, one Steel. Okay, we're, well, we're gonna grab the Steel then. So play the mountains. And grab a hold of Drago. We'll get rid of Bruno Ball Guy. And grab a hold of Brock. Preemptive to play down the choice belt and go for the Marnie. Okay, so pretty much next turn we should be okay. Again, sorry, sorry for being a little bit naked. Sorry about, um, I'll be honest, chat, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sorry that uh, I let my uh, emotions get the best of me during some of these, uh, during some of these matches, but come on, the terrible luck with some of these things has, it, it would drive anybody up the wall, genuinely would drive anybody up the wall, and I, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for losing my temper a little bit there. Especially in that last game, we sh oh, honestly the fact that the luck was so hecking terrible there. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's Gigas at least. Um. Okay. It's it's uh. Okay. We're gonna use the scoop up net. Put it back in the Reggie Alaki. Go for Drago, and then we're gonna play the. Uh, Okay, so we're just looking for some way of getting Reg Ice. I mean, that does get Reg Ice, technically. So, we're going to guarantee it, because we've already got two Aurora. Two Aurora in the, dis in the discard, that's fine. Grab a hold of the Reg Ice. There we go. We're all set up and ready to go. Ancient Wisdom, one, two. To the active Regiality. And then after this, uh, that's going to be the end of the stream. Uh, let's see, we're going to hit the the two things that can become VMAX. Well, everything can become a VMAX. Oh, never mind then. Huh. Never mind then. Hey, the Reggies, the Reggies brought me out of my funk. Thank Christ for that. And we get a rare chest for our trouble. Okay. Well, thanks for Araquanid and all those stupid fucking coin, coin tosses. Uh, we're finishing close to midnight. Damn. Right then, chat. I'm going to run a quick one-minute advertisement, and then after we're back, I'll talk about what's happening tomorrow, although, to be quite honest, it's going to be short, sweet, and to the point. So, see you in a minute. In fact, no, it's going to be 30 seconds. Uh, given how late it is, it'll only be a 30-second advertisement. Okay, then. For those of you who do not get advertisements on the channel, thank you very much for your continual support, as always. Um, I know I went a bit silent and a little angry there right at the very end. I do apologize for that immensely. I do apologize for that absolutely immensely there. I know that I know that's not fun. I know that's not fun, but come on. The coin flips, honestly, those coin flips were fucking horrendous at times. And then that pre previous match with the Reggies against that Perserka deck where you just could not find the energy. I wanted to snap somebody in half. <laughs> Okay, but we're back. We are back from advertisements. Um, basically, chat, uh, tomorrow is going to be more PTCGO. As I said, it is a long, long, long hurrah to uh, PTCGO. You know, the service has been going on for so, so long. And it means a whole, whole bunch to me. So, uh, you know, uh, nice. Ooh, holy shit. Bex, you're still here? That's one o'clock in the morning. Bex, go to... Bex. Not to sound, not to sound like your mother or anything, but please go to bed. Please, please go to bed and get some rest. Okay. Again, I am very sorry for going angry mode at, 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 at on those last couple of matches, but honestly, those coin flips and then the fact that the Reggies couldn't get their energies discarded are oh, that uh, that utterly that utterly irritated me, and I'm I'm not ashamed to admit that. But then again, that's just the luck of card games sometimes. Anyway, it's fine and understandable. Thank you so much, Bex. Right then, uh, as I said, tomorrow will be more PTCGO. Uh, yeah, that's basically about it, chat. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, well, what's left of the night before it's the morning. Have, 
uh, I have seen and heard everything. Everything. <laughs> but Bex, no, thank you so much, but please get some rest. Please get some rest, because I'm about to get some myself. Have yourself a wonderful day. Have, have yourself a wonderful night, chat. Please take care. Get some good rest, and I will see you tomorrow for more PTCGO. And as always, when life gives you garbage, grab life by the throat. Make it feel the steel. I can't shout it like I usually do because it's midnight and I don't want to disturb anybody. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night. Please take care. Get some rest, and I'll see you tomorrow for more PTCGO. Take care, chat. Also, don't forget to check out the newest Final Fantasy VII animation in the Discord server. If I've made sure to... Nope, I have fucked that up again. Uh, tab disk. There it is. Thank you very much. Right then. Have yourself a wonderful night chat and take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.